Good morning, Tri-State. It's time now for Red Holland with fishing news and other interesting features. Weather's going to be just like yesterday. <laughs> you mind walking over there? You mind walking over there and getting the weather from Roy? <laughs> Weather's going to be just like it was yesterday. <laughs> Folks, it's a 30% chance of rain today, and, and that's just like it was yesterday. Less than a 20% chance of rain tonight. There is a low pressure cell moving to the east over the state of Florida. They've had a lot of rain down there around Okeechobee, all down there, Fort Myers. Boy, it was lots of rain over the panhandle of Florida. Still over. Now nah, I said the panhandle. I said mean peninsula, the peninsula of Florida. And you can see it's covered with rain again this morning from about uh, all Ocala south down there. It's just really been raining. Some of it's been creeping up into the Jacksonville area, but just scattered afternoon and evening thunder showers. That's the picture here. You can see we're under the influence of a high pressure cell centered right over the great state of Alabama. Yes, sir. High pressure cell. It's not a large high pressure cell. You can see a frontal system back up to the northwest of us, and that'll be slowly creeping into this area as the week goes on. Your official forecast reads like this. Partly cloudy with a 30% chance of thunderstorms, highs in the mid-90s, wind variable 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tuesday night, isolated evening thunderstorms, otherwise it's going to be fair. Lows in the mid-70s, chance of rain less than 20%. Wednesday, partly cloudy with a 30% chance of thunderstorms, highs in the mid-90s. Fourth of July forecast, partly cloudy with scattered thunderstorms, Highs in the lower 90s. Watch this, we'll be right. I spend a lot of time in the creek swamps trying to catch that old brim, that crappie of that large mouth bass. Well, look, folks, when it's a lure, that certain tackle I need, let me recommend Southern Outdoor Sports to you. They got the tackle, they got the lure, and they friendly, nice folks to do business with. You won't have to stand around in here and look for it. They'll help you. That's Southern Outdoor Sports on West Selma Street in Dothan. Folks, old Don Walker's moved. Up yonder in Troy, Alabama? Well, listen to me. He's got a new address, 814 Highway 231 South on the bypass. That's right out there on the four lane. Big old new store. He's still got them jeans, $9.95 and up. Woo, you talking about a big selection of western wear, shirts, boots. He's got it all. Y'all go by and see it. He's got some real specials going on right now. He's moved, and he's got a phone now, too. Huh, <laughs> You got to communicate. He can't read your mind up there now. <laughs> well, I got a picture over here on camera, too. Here we go, right there. Give me a, give me a little better full shot of that than that, would you? I can't see that monitor back there, so I guess that's all right right there. That's a calendar cover from a 1932 calendar from Spartanburg, South Carolina. And this is the, uh, this is the note that came along with that. Thought you might look better on your wall. I thought this might look better on your wall than the giant fly flap. This picture came from a 1932 calendar from Spartanburg, South Carolina. George Harrison sent this to me from Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Says it looks a lot like a young red holland, don't it? 
No, no, I was skinnier than that, man. You couldn't even see me. I, 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 I didn't even cast hardly a shadow when I was, well, I was a little bit on the pudgy side when I was that child's age, I guess. But old George, that's George Harrison, Marine Incorporated down there. And on the back of the picture it says, we call this picture Fishing with Red. We can't figure out the age of the boy. We thought you might have looked like this as a young boy. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Can we have a long shot now? Boom, 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 boom. We're going to move the fly swatter. Hang the picture right there. See, it's looking a little better. We're going to move. We're not going to do away with the flash water. We're going to hang the flash water. We're just going to move it to a more prominent place and put the picture up there. How's that? Now we've got a calendar that's on the wrong month. Let's turn it over to July. Oops, that's May. We'll go to July now. Then we'll be in the right month at least. Kind of do a little. There we go. It is July the 2nd out there. If anybody missed yesterday altogether, I, I kindly did. <laughs> I kindly missed, missed yesterday. Kind of going through my mail here. Thank you, George, for the picture. I tried to call you. You called about three times a month of May when I was gone. Now I got your card right there. You never would leave a telephone number. Stinks like anything, but at least keep me hopefully warm. The first place, Gil Bristow, 13 pounds. Second place, Randy Meredith, 8 pounds. Third place, Larry Blunt, 8 pounds. Big Fish, Gil Bristow, 5, 6. Our next meeting will be Tuesday evening on July the 2nd. Folks, that is tonight, tonight. 431, 431, inside the circle, right there at the South Trust Bank, South Trust. Go in the front door, double doors, and walk upstairs. The meeting is at 7 o'clock, I believe. 7 o'clock. Let's see. However, sell, uh, yeah. the meeting will be conducted at 7 p.m. However, a sell and swap period will be starting at 6.15. Like if you want to sell a rod and reel or any of your tackle, they're going to have a little swap meet going on before the, uh, before the club meet. Let's see, the guy that won the drawing, the winner is Charles Morrison. Charles Morrison bought the winning ticket from Esto, Florida. Charles will enjoy spending a $400 gift certificate from Southern Outdoor Sports. I'm certain that's where he'll go. Our sister club, Confederate, put one on the fine tournament on June the 8th. As I recall, about 160 boats went up there and fished the... Uh, the following place, Steve Nolan, Paul Richardson, Gilbert, all those folks placed in it. High prestige type folks there. Eh? Bass fishing folks. Bass fishing folks. Next tournament date is July the 13th. This event features a split time frame of competition. So, you know, you just need to show up and meet in the night and, and 7 o'clock, South Trust, upstairs, 431 North inside the circle. Watch this, we'll be right back. Good morning. Preston knows. Right out here at Webb's got butter beans. He's got over a hundred acres of them. Folks, they're shelling them for the public. Or either you can buy them in the hull. Peas, he's got them. Field corn, sweet corn, he's got that too. Call him at one of these numbers, 792-5641 or 794-2121. He's on Highway 52, just east of Webb, Alabama. Folks, that's Jerry Cook, transmission man. Maybe when you drive out of your driveway or you, you're going down the road and you hear that little bit of noise, you don't quite understand what it is, drive it by Jerry Cook. Dothan Transmission on East Main Street in Dothan, Alabama. That man will give you an estimate. It may not be your transmission. It may be a simple adjustment. Jerry Cook. Dothan Transmission, 7947979 on East Main in Dothan. How about these pictures right here? This is Christina and Sherry Sunday right here. And you talking about a string of fish. Woo, look at that, look at that. 
The Lawrence down at the country market gave me these pictures to show. Yes, north of Southport there on Highway 77. You know, they, they advertise with us. Next picture is Mike Rollins right here. Got that 19-pound grouper up there in one of them Sand Hill ponds just north of the country mark there. And come into the country mark, and they took his picture with that grouper. So grouper's biting in the Sand Hill ponds. And these kids have caught these brim right off the jetties out there. <laughs> Maybe I got that backwards there. There you go. Mike Rollins, back grouper, caught him in the Gulf of Mexico. Folks, fishing has been fine, I'm telling you, down there. Whoa. You can go down there and catch you some, catch you some of them king mackerel. Uh, redfish, you can keep a redfish now. So lots of things is changing down there. Uh, Jim Wilson called me the other day, and he, he gave me some of the new laws that's down there. They passed them some new stuff. The limits is changing and everything. Dolphin, you can keep 10 of those. What is all this right here? Some kind of product, Tim. The alligator, the environment, the trapper. What is that? Coming out of Dade City here. Let's see, I've talked with you at the mall on the phone about a, a show, oh, 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 doing a, doing a show on alligator hunting in Central Florida. <clears throat> Mike Fagan is a personal friend of mine, uh, most aggressive hunters in Florida. He is also president of the Alligator Trappers Association Incorporated. He has helped organize Georgia, South Carolina, and working with Alabama. Well, it's hard to work with Alabama. He told me the best time to make a show would be in June, July, or August. Call him to set up a time, and I will call you in a few days. Hmm, wish, call me any time. Enterprise, Alabama. All right. Now, now, folks, it's hard. Phil, you want to go shoot one of these alligator things? Phil said he didn't want to go shoot one of these alligator things, so we got to. Alligator. He, we scared him. What was that run by him? Did you see something run by him on the floor just then? Huh? Y'all watch this commercial. We'll be right back. What was that? Huh? Skip Thomas Motors. Specializing in late model pickup trucks and vans. I'm talking about hand-picked clean, late model, used cars. Them, it ain't all used up. They buy and sell customized vans and work vans. If you need a work van, you need to come see them. Also, Jason Skipper is working there this summer. He's a son of Jerry. So y'all come by and see them. For a clean, late model, used car van or pickup, they got it. Fresh blueberries. Mmm, them old big blue king blueberries. We pack them. We pick them, discounts for quantity, no you pick, that's FICO Farms. You can pick them up at FICO Farms Packing House. That's on Highway 22, that's a mile and a quarter west of Weewa, Hitchica, Florida. They're open daily from 8 till 5. You can call them at 904-639-2285. Folks, I'm Frank Harris, Dolomite Incorporated on Highway 71 South, three and a half miles south of the interstate. We'd like to serve you your Dolomite needs, your rock, even your catfish. We're in the sod business also. To my right is David Thompson, plant manager. To left is Sonny Morris, our sales. Give us a call, please. They can serve you faster, they can serve you better. If it's Dolomite Lime, you call them at Dolomite and Mariana. There you go. Thank you for attending the retirement dinner for Agnes Marar and other members of the Southport Elementary School. We enjoyed your guest appearance as Agnes's replacement. Now, right there, I had took off my garb that I had put on for Agnes to be Agnes Marar's replacement down there, and I had my picture made. I was dressed in a 50s outfit. You can't, 
can't see it, but I had on blue jeans and they was all rolled up and I had on my penny loafers. Uh, I says, we'll miss uh, Aggie, but she plans to visit us. I apologize for taking so long to get you the recipe, you and Miss Holland. I thought when school was out, I'd be able to zip it right to you. But unforeseen same things have occurred since then. Hope you enjoy the corn casserole as much as we do. I love that corn casserole, I'm telling you. And close also is a picture you remember a good time we had. Beverly uh, Limernix looks like. Limnix is on your right, and I'm the bag lady on your left. Pam Eisenberry. Pam Eisenberry on Red's left. That's the one with the, uh, on my left, it'd be your right as you look at the screen there. I also want to tell you how much my husband and I enjoy your television show. My husband, Eric, says, if you're ever in the need of an extra person to fish your hunt, he is available. Thanks again for helping make the dinner such a memorable one. Pam Eisenberg. Pam Eisenberg. Pam is the one there. Give me a tight shot on Pam there, would you? Pam is the one with the hat on now. One with the hat on. I don't you see this. Now, she was just, just as cute as she can be. Well, she had some of her teeth blacked out. You're talking about funny, <laughs> talented. Oh, did that camera move there? I can't believe y'all can move that camera in there. Forget the picture. We can't get a tight shot on it, don't look like. Just forget it. I didn't realize. I thought that thing was nailed to the floor down there. Huh, I did. I thought it was nailed down. I was fixing to answer that telephone right there, but we couldn't get to it. I need to talk to you about fence posts, Mr. Farmer. Mr. Cattle Rancher, anybody, I don't care who you are, if you're fixing to buy you some fence posts, Mr. J.D. Swearingen's got them for a dollar and six, a dollar and 26 cent a piece. A dollar and 26 cent a piece. Fence posts, fence posts, he's got them by the truckload. Y'all all just see them just stacked up, doesn't it? I don't care if you need a corner post, but your regular fence post. They're guaranteed for 30 years. Regular fence post now is $1.26. But he's got any kind of fence post you might need. $1.26 each. You ain't going to beat that price. I don't care where you go, what you look, or who's selling them. J.D. can beat them. Also, they got American-made red brand fence wire at better prices than you can buy anywhere. They got the bob wire. They got the cattle panels. They got the hog panels. They got the water troughs. They got the cattle feeders. They got the mineral feeders. Packs, hog feeders, steel fence posts, electric fence posts, and they got them staples too. J.D., I had plenty of staples in the barn down there. J.D. liked to sold me some staples the other day. I'm talking about when I was down there and bought some bob wire from him. Brought the, I bought the red brand. They've also got that gaucho bob wire down there too. We've got gates of every description you need in all sizes. I need to come down on my trailer. I've got to have me a gate. Hmm. I need one of them pipe-looking gates. So, so when Beth's grand young and swang on it, it won't break it down and everything. I know they're going to swang on it. If we can ever get them out of the video room. <laughs> Did you ever used to swang on your gate, Daddy? Say, now don't swang on that gate, Dad. I never think we. I never thought we had a gate that we had to drag ours always. They never did. When we'd put them on there, they'd be where they'd swing open once or twice. And then all of a sudden, they just go down, and you had to pick it up and drag it around. Good morning. Got you on the air. Uh, I need to ask you a question. All right, put it on me. I got you on the air. Go ahead. You had to have license to dip cred for the dip net on the beach down there. Yes, sir. You certainly do. You had to have a license dip for a willow dip net. Yes, sir. On the beach. Yes, sir. Ray. If you're down there dipping up crabs, you've got to have a salt water license unless you are a resident of, of, uh, of Florida now. Uh. Well, how much are them licenses? They ain't but thirty-two dollars. Well, I can I can buy crabs cheaper than that, can't can I? <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> part of the fun of it is catching them. I thank you, then. Okay, thank you. You can get a crawfish stamp for two dollars and a snook stamp for two dollars.
Did y'all hear up there? She hollered out, yes. I guess Phil's trying to tell her something up there. <laughs> okay, y'all watch this. Let me check on this thing right here. The Graceville Line Stock Market in Graceville, Florida, right there on Highway 2. Folks, Monday is sale day. Sale day. Go down there and see old Gerald Mason. You need them cows, haul? Call Gerald Mason. You got a consignment herd? Call Gerald Mason. The Graceville Livestock Market in Graceville, Florida. They sell hogs at noon and cows at 1 o'clock. That's in Graceville, Florida on the Hog and the Harmony. Evans Supply Company, 203 Northeast Street, off East Main Street, and Dolphins having a big Makita tool sale. 3 8 drill, 63.75 cordless driver drill kit, battery charger, and two case, 9 volt, 158.75, 7 volt, 148.75. Finishing sander with a bag, 53.75, MIG Makita tool sale. Also, Evans carries bluegrass tools. Evans, your building supply headquarters in Dolphin and Abbeville. Let's see, marine, including snails, weeks, clams, scallops, shrimps, crabs, lobsters, sea stars, sea urchins, and sea cucumbers. Why would anybody want to pick up a sea cucumber? 10-day license is $10, one-year license, and this is for Florida resident now, one-year license is $12, tax collector's fees a dollar and a half on that. Good morning, I got you on the air. Okay, Ed. Red. I'm I'm red. Uh, you're red. All right, go yeah. Ahead. I know who I am. You know who you are. All right, good. Go ahead. Question. Do you still use the number 10 hook? Yes, ma'am. Well, let me tell you, I am gutting my fish as I take them off the hook. Yeah, well, you're, you're letting them take it too long. When they just chill that cork, set the hook. Well, they've got about a, you know, when you hook a wiggler in the middle and he gets it all. Yeah. What are you going to do? I mean, he just, that way in the... Praise the Lord, you caught him. <laughs> That's right, and when I get the hook out, I, everything in the middle comes out with him. i tell you what you do. Uh, live well, and he's floating around on his side while the rest of them's running around the bottom. All right, let me tell you what you do. Get you a light wire hook. Go to your, go to Southern Outdoor Sports or someplace close to you, and don't buy nothing but a light wire hook. And that way, there's some on the market that, that you can hold your fish. Uh -huh. you, you see me snatch those hooks and they just pop right out? Yes. Yeah. Okay. A light wire hook. There's a company that makes those, but you just got to ask for them. They may have to order you some of them, and you probably only get them in the hundred count. Okay. Okay. In fact, I'm going to get me some next week. I'm got to go up to, uh, I think it's next week, a week after next, I got to go up to Luverne. And I'll send you one if you'll send me a self-addressed stamped envelope. I'll do it. Okay? How much, Red? All right, bye-bye. Bye. A light wire hook is, is what you can use on that, and, and you won't, uh, you won't uh, have, it, have that problem. Now, some of them you're going to deep hook, and nothing you can do about it. Put them in the ice chest. Good morning. Got you on the air. How about the Bluntstown River reading, please? How about the Bluntstown River reading? Okay, it, it even got higher, I believe. When do you fish? When do you like to fish down there? Hello? Hello? Long. Long. What is it? 15.67 is the Bluntstown River read. 15.67. See, it even went higher. Higher than it was. Good morning. Fred. Yes. Fuller's got them hooks, and it says XL, extra light. Who, who's got them? Huh? The outdoor sports. Yeah, Fuller's got them, and it says what? XL. XL on them. Light. Extra light. Extra light. Okay. All right. I, I use. <laughs> I, you you use them? Yeah. All right. How you like them? Fine. Yeah. It's a company that makes them. They got a couple of problems with them, but you know, better than nothing, ain't it? Yeah, it is. It's, uh, it's good. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate <laughs> it. Extra light. It's got XL on the on the on the pack, and but be prepared now. Probably you can only buy them in the hundred hundred count. Uh, watch this. We'll be right back. Good morning. Hello. Hartford Lake, Hartford, Alabama, folks. Now it's open to the public. 240 acres of brim, bass, and shell crackers. Some of the prettiest fishing water you'll ever see. Look, they got boat rentals. You can fish from the bank. 
summer special going on right now. $5 to fish off your boat. $3 if you want to bank fish. Bring the family, bring the kids. Bait, boats, they got it all. It's open to the public, Hartford Lake. Smells good. Mm, nothing like good old fresh bologna. Good old season to please bologna from Ziegler's. You think that's what this is? Wrong! Wrong! This is turkey, folks. It's turkey bologna. But it's from Ziegler's. It's called Gobbler's. It's brand new. So when you want a bologna sandwich, pick up Gobbler's. It's made from turkey. Ladies, look at all this material. Look at all this lace. Look at all this silk. Look at all this upholstery material. Miss Estelle has done it again. She has knocked out the walls. I'm talking she's moved from her old place and opened a brand new place. Right here in Southport, Florida. Highway 77 on the left going south just so you get to that bridge going into Lynn Haven. Come see her. You ain't going to beat her selection or price. They got the billing on it, and it, you know, it's just a, a novelty type item. That's, I, I don't know where you can find them, okay? That is. Okay. Yeah. Man, want to know where you can get one of them cricket cages with the little thing on the side. Somebody called me yesterday about, about one of them things. Uh, I got three or four at the house. Uh, He says we got two minutes. Boy, this program this morning has been really exciting, hasn't it? Huh? <laughs> what am I saying? I can't believe I said that. You do have a 30% chance of rain today in the forecast. Not a carbon copy of yesterday. The uh, uh, thunder showers, I figure, will start picking up a little bit more. Because it just feels kind of like that. When you walk outside this morning, you'll notice it high humidity, so be careful out there. If you're having to work out in this hot, hot weather, be sure and, and take plenty of fluids, uh, drink plenty of water. You can drink more of, uh, of cool water than you can ice water, so be sure and replenish your system. Your system, all it is is a radiator. You know, your sweat glands, that's all they are is a radiator. When your motor runs hot, you want to put, uh, put that water in there so, uh, so you won't explode. So, Less than a 20% chance of rain tonight, 30% again tomorrow, and then about the same thing over the 4th of July. A lot of folks going to be off now, getting off on a four-day weekend. Folks, y'all be very careful out there because don't run over me. They got some new laws over here and went into effect in Georgia yesterday, too, on drunk driving that also carries over into the water. So... <laughs> you better check on it before you go over there and be riding up and down the river drinking that old beer and everything. Check on it. Y'all have a nice, nice day. Good morning, Tri-State. Did you know that Chevrolets, just like eggs, can be bought for less money in the country? Well, it's Cosmetics good. with self-assured style, Billy D and Mr. Lee, Alice, Oprah, Arsenio Plus, savings of over $11 off the new stand price. I call on Essence, toll free. And so can you. Call on Essence now and Essence will call on you each month with free home delivery at 40% off the new stand price. Essence, call and get it all. To order Essence, call toll-free 1-800-733-8100. 12 issues for just $12.96. Save 46% off the newsstand price. Call now, 1-800-733-8100. 1-800-733-8100. WTBY, Channel 4, Dothan. Morning Tri-States. It's time now for Red Holland with fishing news and other interesting features. In Troy and Goshen is it up between Troy and Luverne. Between Troy and Luverne. Good morning, y'all. Hey, 
It rained a little more than the, the, the 30 percent they was given yesterday, didn't it? Tell you. When I walked out of the house yesterday morning, I walked right in and I told y'all, I said, it just don't feel right outside. Well, it didn't feel right. It felt like it was going to rain and ooh, boy, it did. I'm telling you, we was in a storm down there yesterday. Down there close to Greenhead. Y'all know where Greenhead, Florida is at? That's between Walsall and uh, Southport. <whistles> Did it rain down there? Thunder, lightning. <laughs> lightning struck a pine tree right next to us and just blowed the whole thing up. You talking about limbs falling in the road. <sighs> we was down there at Paradise Lakes. We drove in there. I drove in and show a friend Paradise Lakes. And <laughs> it liked to have been. It liked to have been Paradise for us. So there you go. It was horrible. Wind, rain. Heat deck index today, folks. I was talking about this yesterday morning. Very, very hot. Humid outside. 105 to 110 today. Going to be miserably hot. If you have any respiratory ailments at all, you should stay in the air conditioned type buildings and wherever. Don't get out in this heat. You do, you. Boy, it's tough on you. Mm, mm, mm. Continued hot today with a chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-90s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Rain chances 30% today. Hmm. Widely scattered evening thunderstorms. Otherwise fair. Lows in the mid-70s tonight. Rain chance, they're talking a 20% chance of rain tonight. You're going to see them boost that percentage today. Fourth of July, partly cloudy with a scattered thunderstorms, highs in the mid-90s, chance of rain 40% on Fourth of July. That is rain in the Gulf of Mexico down there. Got a satellite shot, Phil. There's your satellite shot. You can see those bright white thunderstorms way off in the Gulf of Mexico. They should dissipate as it kind of warms up this morning and They'll dissipate out over the Gulf of Mexico, and then they'll start occurring, popping up. Those puffs of clouds will start occurring in the Panhandle, Florida. And the further you come north, the thicker it'll get. So that's what it's going to look like today. Partly cloudy. Mm. They're talking 30% chance of rain today, 20% chance of rain tonight, and a 40% chance of rain on the 4th of July. Bluntstown River stage, right at 14 feet, 13.68, 13.68. Too high to go fishing, doesn't it? Caraville River reading, we don't have it. It didn't come over the wire. George, 189.39. Andrews, 102.40. Woodruff, 77.44. Watch this. We'll be back. Preston Knowles. Right out here at Webb's got butter beans. He's got over a hundred acres of them. Folks, they're shelling them for the public. Or either you can buy them in the hull. Peas, he's got them. Field corn, sweet corn, he's got that too. Call him at one of these numbers, 792-5641 or 794-2121. He's on Highway 52 just east of Webb, Alabama. Jake Norton down at General Hydraulics, right across from Channel 18 on Highway 52. He can repair those hydraulic cylinders off of backhoes, dump trucks, forklifts, farm equipment, anything hydraulic. Hydraulic lines, General Hydraulics. Jake Norton, 794 5197. He's always there, so if you blow a gasket on anything, you call him. Make yourself a ham sandwich. Has your wife ever told you that? Make yourself a ham sandwich? Well, look at him. Let me tell you about it. When you go to make a ham sandwich, you come to the refrigerator and you get Ziegler's out. You get Ziegler's buffet ham. This is the black peppered ham, and this is just the regular buffet ham. Ziegler's. You ain't never had any any better, and it's season to please. It's Ziegler's. Thought you would enjoy this um, 
it says recipe, send, send it in my old recipe drawer. Old recipe drawer. And it's how to make old-fashioned vanilla ice cream. Makes a half a gallon. Heat one pint of milk to a boiling point, stirring constantly. Be sure not to scorch the milk. Don't scorch the milk. You hear me? Don't scorch the milk. Combine two tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of cold water, mix into a smooth paste. Smooth, smooth, smooth as goat lips. Add the milk to the paste, slowly continuing to stir. Then the mixture has thickened, cook in a double boiler over hot water for 15 minutes. Add three quarters cup of sugar, two beaten egg yolks. Cook two minutes, strain the custard you've already made through a fine sleeve. Allow to cool at room temperature and refrigerate for a few minutes. Then, when cold, Add a cup of heavy cream, one tablespoon of vanilla, and now you're ready to freeze. Put your custard in the hard crank ice cream freezer. Fasten the dasher lightly in the bucket around the freezer. Alternate layers of crushed ice and ice cream salt. Just turn the crank until the mixture gets hard. Crank starts to become difficult to turn. A lot of you folks out there never has, never has made homemade ice cream. Well, we happened to have made some this past weekend. Well, we didn't make it. I was down in the lake, and I told them, Joe Grady's got one that makes five gallons. Of course, it's got his name on the side of the bucket, Joe Grady's Hardware, and he loans it out to folks. So if you want to borrow you, if you're having a big wing ding or something, if you'll call him, he'll loan it to you. No extra charge. That's right. He'll loan it to you as long as you get it. You ain't even got to clean it up when you bring it back. He loves to work so much, he'll even clean it up. Just bring it back and just dump it out there in front of his hardware store. He loves to work. That boy loves to work. You know, I read Nan Landers or somebody told me when, when you turn, get a 45, 50, 55, somewhere in there, either you drink a lot, you work a lot, or all you think about is sex. So, you know, Joe Grady works a lot. So you can just, you know, anyway, he's got one of them turn cranks. If he ain't doing nothing, he'll be glad to go to your party with you, and he'll crank it for you. That's the reason he stays so skinny. Barbara makes him crank that crank all the time. <laughs> Y'all watch this. We'll be right back. Lose mobile homes, all type repairs, remodeling, all mobile homes. Folks, listen to this. You can get it repaired or remodeled. Need to add a room or a roof over, all types of plumbing, awning, mobile homes, curtains, carport. Woo, free estimate. He's licensed, insured, bonded in a 50-mile radius of doping. Who do you call? That's lose, lose. Man, you can depend on him. He's a nice feller, and he's honest. The grasses are growing and the yard needs a mowing. And J.D. Swaggs and his crew is ready with the famous Carter Easy Mow Lawn Mower for you. It's high wheel self propelled lawn mower that pulls itself along. It's easy to mow with. You can cut out heavy grass. And you don't got to push this old mower along. We've sold hundreds of these to city, state, institutions, churches, and schools. And remember, if you don't trade with J.D., it costs us both money. He's got them easy mows now. Easy, easy mo, Mr. J.D. got the easy mo. You know something from the state of Alabama talking about bats. Bats eat large quantities of insects. About 70% of bats eat insects, making them the greatest predators of night flying insects in the world. Bats eat a variety of insects, including mosquitoes, agricultural pests such as corn borers, grain moths, cutworm moths, potato beetles, and even grasshoppers. One little brown bat, a common species uh, found in the attics of North American homes, that's what we call a leather-winged bat down here, you know. They call them little brown bats, we call them. Look at them leather-winged bats. Um, I used to, could, I was such a good shot when I was a young fellow in my early teens and we lived on the farm. I was probably 13, 14 years old. I could shoot a leather-winged bat out of the air with a 22 rifle. There's a leather-winged bat. Pow! Boom! Dead bat. <laughs> Just 
just single shot rifle. Just there's a leather wing back. Boom! There he is on the ground now. When I was a when I was a young fella, then my eyes started to fail on me. I guess. Let's see. One little little brown bat can consume 600 mosquitoes in a single hour. 600 mosquitoes in a single hour. Large bat colonies such as the 20 million Mexican free-tailed bats inhabiting Breaking Cave in Texas devour from a fourth to a half million pounds of insects each night. So hey, these bats is all right, ain't they? Hmm. You ever heard of say, well, you got bats in your belfry. Well, they must be good for you. In addition to intentional destruction of bat colonies, many bat populations have been severely damaged unknowingly by people exploring caves while bats were present. Hibernating bats may be disturbed by noise, light, or simply the presence of a person's body heat. Body heat. <laughs> bats aroused from hibernation burn energy reserves needed to carry them through the winter. If a bat's stored energy is depleted before spring, it will die of starvation. In other words, they hibernate during the wintertime. During warmer months, bats disturbed while caring for their young may drop or abandon them. Thousands of young bats can die from a single disturbance. In other words, if you go into one of these caves or cut out a tree, a bump of tree that there's bats living in, since bats are such an important natural form of insect pest control, it's our best interest to perpetuate them. State and federal wildlife agencies, private conservation groups such as Bat Conservation International and concerned individuals have recently taken steps to protect and enhance bat population. Hey, I bet old Batman's a member of that thing. You reckon Batman and Robin, I bet they're members of that thing. Huh? <laughs> I bet they are. State and federal laws have been passed protecting most bat species. Bat houses should be securely fastened to a building or tree 12 to 15 feet above ground. A bat house can accommodate 20 to 50 bats. Hmm. Tells you how to make a bat house. Bat houses typically are small wooden structures built to provide roosting or nursery sites for bats. They're about the size of a rural mailbox set on the end, set on end. The lower end of the house is open. Rough vertical panels are attached inside so bats can fly in, grip the panels, and hang easily. Vertical panels. Like you take a mailbox and, or, or a, a square box, build your four-board box, put an end on this end, leave this end open, nail it to the building or a tree, 12 to 15 feet off the ground and put you about three or four panels in there. Not all the way across, but just ribs in it. Looks like ribs. Ain't that what it says? Rough vertical panels are attached inside so bats can fly up in, grip the panels, and hang in easily. Depending on the size, a bat house can accommodate 20 to 50 bats. In a location sheltered from wind near water, such as a lake, pond, river, or marsh, some bat houses have been occupied literally overnight. I'm going to have me a bat house at the house. Most of them remain vacant for a year or more before being used by bats. This year could help create a wave of bat mania. <laughs> going to build me a bat house. I got a little joke I could tell there, but it's a little risque, so we'll... Watch this. We'll be back. Got to catch your phone. Good morning. Hey, Ray. Doc Spagan said fix it where they'll know just exactly which door to go through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray a little air right here and over here on the downspouts. Remember to look for the downspouts and the yellow arrows going through this door under these arches. He said, Red, make it clear where they, where they won't miss it. All right, there's another hour. 89 single vision, 109 bifocals, eye care associates, look for the arrows. I just made Bill one show it on my show. Tell, tell the folks out there where you saw a bat house. At Landmark Park, 
Mm -hmm. On 431 North and Dalton. That's right. Landmark Park, folks, got them out there. Big 4th of July wing dig going to go out on Landmark Park, too. All right, thank you very much. Yes. Okay. We got some pictures in we're going to show. I stopped by Hartford Lake down there and talked to them folks late yesterday evening. There's some folks out there fishing. Uh, good morning. Good. Yo! The old that saying you bonnet. Say it again. When is the old that saying down at Bonnet? Uh, all night saying at Bonnet is the 4th of July saying it's the, the Saturday night following the 4th. Like it'll be Saturday night, I believe. Coming Saturday night. I think it's the all night saying, and I believe it's on Saturday night. Well, Bonnet's got a GC's, hasn't he? Yes, sir. I'll call that bill. Okay, all right. Just call the sheriff's office down there. They'll be able to tell you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. All night saying at Bonnet. I got a couple of pictures I want to show. Let's catch the phone first, though. Good morning. Somebody had indigestion, sounds like, they called it. Take two Alka-Seltzers and you'll be feel a lot better. <laughs> Good morning. It's me again. Anyway, the all night things, uh, Saturday night. Yeah, that's what I told them. Okay. All right, thank you very much. It's me again. <laughs> all right, that's good. That's good. Thank you. What is this right here? I got to read all this stuff. Let me, that's quite lengthy. Let me read that to the side. I decipher through this stuff. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to look at this little kid right here. This is Wade Turner from Taylor, Alabama. And he's standing in front of the bragging board. We're just down to one camera this morning, folks. So y'all just be, there you go. That's looking good, old Brad is, ain't he? Look at that. He's holding him up. A, that's the latest satellite shot. Now we're going to come back to Brad. There you go. That's the la latest shot with young Mr. Brad. He's holding him up. A large mouth bass there. Age six. Caught six of 29. And we got one more picture of him of Mr. Walker Holder right here. I missed Mr. Walker down there yesterday. They said he had just got his picture made and left. Maybe that was the day before he was there. Let's see what day. He was 7-2 of 91. Uh-huh. And Mr. Walker Holder is 82 I'm talking 82 years old, and he caught him enough of them shell crackers. Pretty good looking shell crackers there. Caught him up enough of them shell crackers fishing from the bank, I believe. Stink up the grease right there. Mr. Walker Holders from Midland City, and he caught them down there at Hartford Lake. Now, folks, they, they've cut the price down there at Hartford Lake. Y'all see on the ad, it's $5 per person to fish from a boat, okay? And then it's only three dollars per person to uh, to fish from the bank. And I talked with them down there. And if you want to take your wife down there with you and your youngin, and she wants to sit up there and read a book or whatever she wants to do, and the youngins want to play under the pavilion, take a big, they ain't gonna charge nobody except for the folks that's fishing. So y'all, oh, oh, I got to tell this. I <laughs> I drove up down there, and this lady had brought a bunch of kids fishing, which was real sweet. And 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 I, she says, we never have rigged up no poles before. And they had, I believe, four cane poles laying there. Four cane poles laying there. And I, I walked up there, and I was talking to them, little bitty kids, and, and uh, just kind of visiting with them. And I got to looking at the poles, and I says, well, who broke these poles off? She says, well, I did. I said, well, why, why'd you break them off? She says, they was too limber. Don't break off the poles. That's what you want. Get that little cushion on the end of it because your fish will get off if you ain't got that cushion on the end of it and it bends that pole and just makes it feel good. She had broke, broke them cane poles off about that much off of each one. And boy, they were just as stiff. You talking about if they got a fish on, boop, bank, you know, boop, bank. <laughs> <laughs> Hope we caught some fish. Watch this. Nope, hold it. Let me catch your telephone. Good morning. Good morning, Red. Yes, sir. Okay, I uh, wonder if you could know or could find out for me, uh, is it against the law to set hooks in uh, uh, Victory Lake or, or any of these lakes? You know where Victory Lake is, don't you? Are you talking about Lake Vic down in, uh, down in Holmes County? Yeah, right there off number two. Yeah, it ain't, shouldn't be against the law. To, it's a state... It's state control. Control lake. Shouldn't be against the law. Well, uh, I don't want to be, uh, 
I don't want to think. I want to know. Yeah. I ain't got the money to pay it. Oh, well, I understand what you're talking about. All right. Uh, I thought... I was, was go down there and set me some hooks, uh, you know, uh, maybe a trot line uh, out there at night. Mm-hmm. And uh, fish for some of them catfish. They put, I think, uh, I don't remember if it was 2000 or 10000 mm -hmm. now, about two years ago. All right, I'll tell you what I need to do. I, if I had the number for Lake Victor, those people down there, I would call down there. But I don't have that number. Maybe I can get somebody to call us down from down there. Well, it, then, yeah. Then, uh, that store is closed down there. So I, I don't know if you got somebody else's number or not. You'd have to get off. Wait a minute. You mean the ramp is open to the public again? All you got to do is go in and put in? Yeah, that's right. It ain't again the law then? Sure? Yeah, I'm sure, man. They ain't, you know. They ain't against the law to set out no catfish line. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll call the game warden down there. That's what I'm wanting you to do. That's what I'll do. I'll just call the game warden. How about that? You ain't going to pay my ticket if I get one, do you? You're right. You're right. I get... Thank you, Ray. All right, I get most... Quite, misquoted enough as it is. We got the phone ringing. Maybe there's somebody with the information. Troy built power equipment. Everybody knows they make that famous garden tiller. But did you know they made the sickle bar, the mulching mower, the big eight horsepower mower? Ed, tell them about the Troy built tractor. The Troy built tractor is a big machine. Five speed transmission, got all your industrial motors on and your large mowing decks for the big mowing machines. We service them and sell them. Folks, he's the number one Troy built dealer in the tri-state area. He's got the right price. Come see Ed. Fresh blueberries. Mmm, them old big blue king blueberries. We pack them, we pick them. Discounts for quantity. No, you pick. That's FICO Farms. You can pick them up at FICO Farms Packing House. That's on Highway 22. That's a mile and a quarter west of Weewa, Hitchcock, Florida. They're open daily from 8 till 5. You can call them at 904-639-2285. Country Mart, down Highway 77, just north of Panama City, Florida. Woo, if you're going fishing early in the morning, stop by there. Maybe you get hungry around lunchtime, you can go by and get one of them good hot dogs. If it's feed, if you live in the area, they got hog feed, cow feed, chicken feed, they got all kinds of feed. It's oil products. All you loggers, y'all buy your diesel fuel there already, but get that oil. Where's that? Unical, right there on Country Mark. That's Highway 77 north of Pennymon. I'm <laughs> getting them fishermen off. <laughs> okay. All right, does, does he have some help down there that somebody, you might have another number I could call and find out this. Okay, all right, all right. He's looking for a number that I can call the uh, conservation officer that I called is taking his little boy fishing this morning. How do you like that? And they had just left the going of fishing. Look here, if you're going fishing, you better go early. Go early, get out of that hot sun up in the middle of the day, and then uh, uh, go out just so dark. When these thunder showers come up, get off that lake. I don't care where you're at. Get a rain check or wherever you're at, somebody will. They'll say, well, the rain run us out. We ain't going to get the fish, you know. Well, they'll give you a rain check probably on, on in most of these lakes to, to come back and, and fish because they want your business. Good morning. Are you still there? Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, ma'am, I'm on the air right now. <laughs> He's going to look it up for me. I want to know if I had a book. It is uh. Is that, is that old boy akin to Ronnie Brooks? I lost her. She's going to look it up for me. That's all right. Uh, folks, when you're looking for carpet, okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Three, six. Three, three. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Uh Folks, when you need carpet, you need to think about the carpet barn right here in Dothan. <laughs> I've got some folks in hot water. They run out of the vinyl at 2 dollars 
they got three ninety nine vinyl now. And there's been a couple people down there show up. Them folks told me to change that ad, so don't be mad at them. Be mad at me. And I'm sorry if you spent that gas money. But look again, I don't care what price they got it at. They still got it cheaper and better. The product is better than you can get it anyplace else. So y'all want carpet, vinyl, pad, indoor, outdoor. You Maybe you're redoing a patio out there and want to put some of that patio stuff out there. You need to go to Carpet Discount Barn on Plant Street right there in Dothan, Alabama. It's on just off of East Main. Right there, kind of cattywampus across the woods, across the swamp north of Jerry Cook's place there. <clears throat> so how about that? All right, did we get that right? I got to cut a new ad. Don't put that other on, Phil, to pull that thing out all together. We don't want to be doing no false advertising because them folks told me two weeks ago to change that, and I would uh, forgot. Good morning. Got you on the air. Hey, Red. Hey. Hey, yeah, I need to know about them. Striped bass down in Columbia. What about them? They say there's a closed season on them or something. Now, now the stripers there is now. It's a striper, but but the hybrids is not closed. That's the one with the straight line on them. If you catch a fish over there, he's got a straight line. Put him back. Put him back. That's it. Even though it's, even though your fishing license it don't say it, that it's a closed season on them. Huh? Well, you fishing in Georgia? What you probably got an Alabama license, huh? Fishing on Alabama side of the dam. Yeah, but what is that? Isn't there a sign there? Nope. There ain't no sign there? No sign. Up at Spillway. Uh-huh. Well, how, how did you know it was against the law? Well, I caught a couple the other day, and a guy told me that he thought it was against the law. He wasn't for sure. That's right. You're supposed to put them back. I'll get the... I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get the conservation on here next week from Georgia to talk about it, okay? All right. Then. How about that? Sure. In the meantime, put them back. What I'm supposed to do? How much time we got? We out of time? Folks, everybody's taking off now for the fourth, so y'all be careful. They'll be off out here. No live program in the morning. You'll get to see tape shows in the morning and also Friday morning. We'll be back here live. I'd be here. I wanted to work tomorrow and the next day, but everybody else has took off, so what am I going to do? I can't stand out here and do the thing. So you got a... 40%. I'm going to raise the, the scope on this rain. 40% chance of rain today, even possibly better than that. Late afternoon and evening thunder showers, 40% on the 4th of July. Y'all have a nice, safe 4th of July because I want to see him Monday morning. Be safe. Thank you. Good morning, Tri-State. The not-for-profit psychiatric hospitals in the Southeast, each with its own accredited school. The key to Inner Harbor's success is its unique alternative program. Patients live in small groups, and every day, a team of licensed professionals concentrates on developing each patient's willingness to accept full responsibility for his or her actions. For instance, the Wilderness Challenge course promotes both self-esteem and trust of others. If you care about a troubled child or teenager, don't wait. Get help. And if you'd like to see our free video brochure on helping such kids, call this number right away. WTVY, Channel 4, Dothan. Good morning, Tri-States. It's time now for Red Holland with fishing news and other interesting features. Folks, we're off the big river down here, and it's uh, 8.30 in the morning. We're down below Bluntstown, and we're going to try to catch some good-sized fish today. The water is, is uh, just started to, to get low enough to fish down here because we've had a lot of high water down around Bluntstown on the Apalachicola River. All right, the, the river reading at Bluntstown this morning was eight and a half feet. So what we're going to be doing is fishing some backwater, mouths of creeks and sloughs and like that on outdoors with red. Now what I'm using this morning is a Red Holland Brim Master. Red Island Brim Master, it's the 10-foot section. 
uh, 10 foot section. It's the 10 foot pole and it comes in uh, in three sections. So, uh, uh, and it comes in red. When y'all go to your grocery, grocery store, I guess I'm hungry. Uh, when y'all go to your sporting goods store, ask for it by name, would you? The Red Holland Brimmaster. Don't settle for anything less than that. Because it's a good pole. You will like it. Fishing with a number seven hook, one split shot of lead, and a cork. We're going to be using worms and crickets. Keep us tuned in. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Ooh See if we can catch one. Doral Holloway's behind the camera today. Seven foot deep, right? There, Jeff. Well, I hadn't seen him yet. Feels like a channel catfish. Feels like a channel catfish. Oh, look at that. I ain't believing it. It's a bass. We're not bass fishing, are we? Now, look at that. This is a real healthy fish right here. Simple reason. Look how small his head is compared to the rest of his body. That fish is in real good shape. Boy, you talking about bad. I'm going to hurt the fish. I'm trying to get him. I'll just put him back, Joe Earl. Joe Earl, what you got there? Help. Help. Hand me your pole, Joe Earl. Hand me your pole. Joe Earl doesn't call him a big brim here. Look at that. Pretty decent fish, eh? Caught him on fish, didn't you? It ain't one of them big old hand painting jobbies, but it's a, it's a brim. We ain't gonna throw it back. Now you gonna shoot this program or operate the camera? You got license? Oh, okay. Alabama, Alabama license. No, no, thirty-one dollars. Florida non-resident license. Off. Get you one of that, Mr. Brim. That even feels like a small brim, man. Eh? Got a little color to him, Joe. Mm -hmm. Pretty. There you go. One of them, them red-breast bluegills. He's a small size. Woo, you talking about fine eating. See, I was trying to show that a while ago on that bass a while ago. Look how small his head is compared to the rest of his body. They got plenty to eat down here, and they virtually can grow and eat 12, 12 months out of the year because the water never gets that cold down here. These brim don't keep feeding down here, so. I'm going to throw everything at the bottom of the boat today. Mm. So we're fishing in the mouth of a creek, just letting it kind of float down, float down. They don't want it up near the top, and they don't want it to, on the bottom. They want it just off the bottom. And I changed off and took a wiggler off then and put a cricket on. Don't look like he's, uh oh, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. You didn't want the cricket, Joe. Yeah. As y'all can see, Joe Earl and I switched the ends of the boat. Look at that, just a regular brim. Look at that, ain't that thing pretty? Just is white, pretty, fat. Mm -hmm. Just a good eating fish. You see, I've gone to a little heavier split shot in this, fishing in this swift of water here in the mouth of this creek. Now you gotta hold that bait. You gotta get that bait down there. And on normally I only hook these wigglers just one time right there. But I'm using a little bigger hook down here, so I hook them twice, just like that. That way, he, he 99 percent of the time he'll get the the whole worm. You'll lose a lot of bait down here, but you get a lot of bites. Now just watch that. Just stay on the cork, Joe. Yeah. You There's your cork. It's kind of just floating down now. I'm about six inches off the bottom. He's, he's touched. There he is. He's touching it. But these fish has got little bitty mouths now. He's running with it. He's running with it. He hasn't swallowed it yet. There he is. Oh, he was small. Now, that was a small fish then. He only got half my worm, so I go right back down in there. I still know it's double hooked. It's double hooked. He'll get it. There's a log or something down there that they gather up behind, seems like. Maybe a drop off in the bank. 
been hung on it several times. Look at that. See him? He's after it. And I missed him again. <laughs> Just keep tuning in, folks. We'll get them today. Big ones. Big ones. Troy, big fresh blueberries. Mmm, them old big blue king blueberries. We pack them. We pick them. Discounts for quantity. No you pick. That's FICO Farms. You can pick them up at FICO Farms Packing House. That's on Highway 22. That's a mile and a quarter west of Weewa, Hitchica, Florida. They're open daily from 8 till 5. You can call them at 904-639-2285. Hartford Lake. Hartford, Alabama, folks. Now it's open to the public. 240 acres of brim, bass, and shell crackers. Some of the prettiest fishing water you'll ever see. Look, they got boat rentals. You can fish from the bank. Summer special going on right now. $5 to fish off your boat. $3 if you want a bank fish. Bring the family, bring the kids. Bait, boats, they got it all. It's open to the public, Hartford Lake. Folks, take a look at this hydrilla I'm picking up. It's tough to get an outboard to go through this, but not the Go Devil. No matter how thick, the Go Devil goes right on over logs, stumps, no shear pins to worry about, no water pumps to clog because it's air cool. It's also electric start. Don't have to mix any oil with the gas. This motor adapts to almost any boat and goes anywhere no matter how thick the grass. Call Paul Dixon for a test ride. Today's weather, heat index 105 to 110, partly cloudy, hot and humid, 40% chance of afternoon thunderstorms, high today, mid-90s. Tonight, a 30% chance of evening thunderstorms, otherwise partly cloudy, low in the low 70s. And for Friday, partly cloudy with a 30% chance of thunderstorms, high tomorrow, 90 to 95. That'd be still. But a healthy, real healthy fish. Really healthy. What I'm doing is these wigglers found some good wigglers. I'm breaking some of them in half, trying to catch them. Trying to get the key to it so we can catch one every time we put in there. So, doing a lot of things today you normally don't see me do because I'm not very good at fishing down here in this type of... Boy, he's eating it up. There he is, Joe. Decent fish there, boy. Let me set that hook into him. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Decent fish, yeah. See, that was on that half of a wiggler, and he just had to bump, 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 bump. Look at that. Ain't no flies on that brim. Hmm? He's pretty hard. Just fish in the mouths of these sloughs. The river this morning when we left home, like I told you, was eight and a half feet. Apalachicola River at Bluntstown was eight and a half feet. So. After it's been up all winter long and, and uh, the spring of the year, oh boy, you hit it right there. It, these fish just seem, seem to gather up in the mouths of these sloughs and, and creeks, and uh, uh, especially when the water's falling. Excellent time to go fishing. Oh, how'd I miss him on that little bit of bait? They slick. <laughs> they slick. Oh, what? Come on out there. Got a little stout on me, isn't it? Yep, he's a little bigger than that last one I caught. Maybe that one's pretty brown. Woo-wee! Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, that's pretty. See, I'm just letting him, letting him take it a lot longer than you normally would. Normally, when that cork goes under, he's got it, but... But everywhere you go, you have to change your techniques a little bit. It's using a pinch of bait. <laughs> That's unheard of with me. You bring a, a towel to wipe my hands off of? Use your pants. Use my pants. No, I got short pants on. Can't do that. Look at boy, he's after it already. He's eating it. That in there is. Acts like he may be a small one. Oh, yeah, look at him. Oh, man. Shiner. A 
rock fishes. Nibbling that thing down there. Hope it ain't. No, that's a brim. Huh? But he's, he's small, but he's fat. Take these fish, put them in my fish scaler, and just kind of let them scale. And... Mm -hmm. Then what you want to do is take you some, take you some flour, some self-rising flour, put it in a bowl, and put you some, put you some uh, buttermilk in another bowl. And dip these fish down in that buttermilk to start with. Just dip them, cover them, wet them in buttermilk and then roll them in that self-rising flour and put them in some hot, hot oil, cooking oil. Ooh, doggies, you better get back, son. Mm. Don't let him swallow it, Joe, I guess. There you go. You just got to let him have it along. Uh-oh, that one was mighty small. Why don't you turn that camera off till I get a good fish on, okay? Dr. Spagan said fix it where they'll know just exactly which campground you got it, okay? Got it. All right, motel rooms, you got it. 16 of them. All right, single, stag lodge. 18 beds in that. Mmm, singles over here. Yeah. Got them too. Got them. Finest country cooking in the whole country. They ain't fancy, but it's fitting. Mmm, some of the best macaroni and cheese you ever put in your mouth. Dumplings on Sunday. Every Sunday. Guides, fish and tackle, come on, sea jacket, wind gates. Hey, time, are you tired of using that old worn out hay mower, making a mess out of your hay? Uh-uh, go down and see J.D. Swearingen. He sells the Vicon dish mower, the one with the three blades. It cuts faster, it cuts cleaner, it lasts longer. He's also got the Vicon wheel rake. Folks, he's got the Vicon round baler, and they don't nobody, I'm talking nobody, beat J.D.'s price. So if it's Vicon and it's hay, you need to see him today. <laughs> I spend a lot of time in the creek swamps trying to catch that old brim, that crappie, that large mouth bass. Well, look, folks, when it's a lure, that certain tackle I need, let me recommend Southern Outdoor Sports to you. They got the tackle, they got the lure, and they friendly, nice folks to do business with. You won't have to stand around in here and look for it. They'll help you. That's Southern Outdoor Sports on West Selma Street in Dothan. Preston knows. Right out here at Webb's got butter beans. He's got over 100 acres of them. Folks, they're shelling them for the public. Or you can buy them in the hull. Peas, he's got them. Field corn, Sweet corn, he's got that too. Call him at one of these numbers, 792-5641 or 794-2121. He's on Highway 52, just east of Webb, Alabama. Yeah, I'm, look up there, look up there. Look up there in the water. Look up there, right there in the water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How you like that, folks? That's a female bluegill. That's a, a hand size. A female bluegill. They just, they just, you just barely reach around. And that's something. He bit like one of them little old biddings. You don't ever know where it's gonna be a. You don't ever know where, where it's gonna be a good one or a big one like that. That's pretty. Boy, you talk. That'll eat good right there. I want to jump. Coming towards yours. Let me just go and get him up. Ooh, look at him, look at him. Look at oh, that. Nice. Look at that, look at that. John, what are you looking for? Oh, look at that. Isn't that thing pretty? Folks, I'm gonna hold him in the sunlight so he can show you what that looks like. Now, isn't that fish something? That's what we come for right there. Caught him on a worm. You got some pies on that side, right? Yep. Weird. On the other side, they don't have any spots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. pretty, there's a few pads. No pads on that side, but there's a couple of pads on that side. Uh -huh. What are you talking about? 
folks y'all wanted to see us just <coughs> sat on them. So here we are. Oh boy, come on back. Baby, he's got some shoulders on him now. Some shoulders. Pretty good size bluegill, ain't it? Uh -huh. oh, yeah. I caught him with a pinch of worm, just a pinch of worm in there. Made that worm small so we could get it in his small mouth. Boy, they there, ain't they? Look at that. Uh oh. <laughs> That's what you call a uh, a rock minnow, right there. It's a little old rock minnow, rock fish. Bait stealers, boy, just a bunch of bait stealers. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, now. Come on. <laughs> Look at that. Well, ain't pretty. That's a female too. Yeah. No, no, no. That's a male. It's got it's got a red breast on. What are you talking about? You don't mess these deep? Mm -hmm. Boy, they'll be fine, won't they? Sorry, Hugh. <laughs> Hughie, I'm gonna catch enough of them that both y'all can have a mess. <laughs> Folks ain't much. Ain't much in life that's more enjoyable than holding on to a pole like this. And let me get this brim on in him. Ooh, is he pretty? He got some red on him, Joe. Look at that. That's one of them pads, see? Right there. Ain't much that, that I get enjoyment out of catching a big old brim like that. Ain't that something? That thing is beautiful. I hear a boat coming down the river there. We need to... Get that off. We just need to slide him in there. Are we catching anything? Nah, they ain't biting too good in here. Y'all doing any good? Oh, we catch a small one every now and then, yeah. <laughs> That's what you want to tell folks, ain't that right? <laughs> tape was running out. This We put a new tape in there and that's a fish that I caught right there. One of the thickest bluegills I think I've ever seen. Maytag fact. Folks, that's Jerry Cook, transmission man. Maybe when you drive out of your driveway or you, you're going down the road and you hear that little bit of noise, you don't quite understand what it is, drive it by Jerry Cook. Dothan Transmission on East Main Street in Dothan, Alabama. That man will give you an estimate. It may not be your transmission. It may be a simple adjustment. Jerry Cook, Dothan Transmission, 7947979 on East Main in Dothan. You know, have you ever had an idea that you wanted a special kind of a sandwich meat? You know, and your little light just turns on up there somewhere and it's black peppered ham? And if it's from Ziggler's, ooh, it's good. Or maybe a spice luncheon loaf. Ooh, turn on those lights up there. It's ideas with liver cheese, and it's all from Ziggler's. If it's that special olive loaf from Ziggler's, it's good. Are you in the welding business? Do you need a piece of equipment? Well, you need to come to Southeast Welding Products right here in Dothan, Alabama. Call them on the phone. They're glad to call on you. They'll come to you. They'll sit down and figure with you. I don't care what kind of piece of equipment it is. If it's welding, Southeast Welding Products can service you. If it's gas bottles to fire extinguishers, they got it all right here at Southeast Welding Products in Dothan. Incorporated, located Highway 71 south of the interstate, about three and a half miles. Folks, if it's Dolomite Lime you need at your place, they're bigger, they're better, they're cheaper. They can serve you better than anybody in the whole southeastern part of the United States. Look here, they're in the grass sod business too. So if it's sod, 
If it's dull in my line, you call them right now. Get them on the phone. They'll come serve you. And at Dolomite of Marietta, they also carry them rocks for them driveways. Skip Thomas Motors, specializing in late model pickup trucks and vans. I'm talking about hand-picked, clean, late model used cars. Them it ain't all used up. They buy and sell customized vans and work vans. If you need a work van, you need to come see them. Also, Jason Skipper is working there this summer. He's a son of Jerry. So y'all come by and see them. For a clean, late model used car van or pickup, they got it. Today's weather, heat index 105 to 110, partly cloudy, hot and humid, 40% chance of afternoon thunderstorms, high today, mid-90s. Tonight, a 30% chance of evening thunderstorms, otherwise partly cloudy, low in the low 70s. And for Friday, partly cloudy with a 30% chance of thunderstorms, high tomorrow, 90 to 95. Glad to meet you, Mr. Jess. We've got a count red right over at orange. Is that, that? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, y'all have to see us, this program on TV. We're going to put it on TV. Uh, they ain't, they ain't been they ain't been biting too good. We catch one every now and then. <laughs> we got about 25. Oh, is that right? Well, we putting ours in the in the live well, and the way we culling them, if they can swim through the live well hole, yeah, they can go back. If they don't, they go to house. Well, down at Vernon, you see, we go down to Home Creek. We uh, our limit down there was a, a, a syrup bucket full. A syrup bucket full. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's the way I, we measure. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Red poles, man. I need one of them. I you, do too. I, I, I need one of them. Yeah, they got them down there. At the... I need one of them poles. There's a bait place opened up down there, right below y'all at, at Vernon. Who is that? I forget the name of the place. It's a camouflage-looking building down there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Joe, you lost your hook. <laughs> you lost your hood, Joe. I'll tell you one of <laughs> They got them Red Holland poles down there just south of Vernon. And I see the reason. That's a little bit of small brim right there. It pulled here. Quick, pull here. Pull here. Hand it to me. That's on the cricket. That's on the cricket? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take him out right here. Let me get this other fish out. Now. Oh, man, I hope he didn't hang it. He didn't hang it. That's a good fish right here, Joe. On a cricket right on the boat, man. Where he got it, man. Yeah, yeah. he got a little color to him, Sam. Sure him. Big Sam caught a, caught a small fish over there just a few minutes ago. And uh, I said, well, that ain't big enough to put on there, Sam. And he said, he said yeah, it's a small one. But I noticed he put him in his live well. Is that right? That's one of these pies. Now, he's getting old. I'm telling you, see a black speck on the side right there? Getting better. Getting better. He had a crick now. Ain't much to him, but... That's a big Sam brim right there now. That's one of them small ones like he caught. You know, you know what I'm going to do with him, Sam? <laughs> he went right in the ice box. Live well. He'll do good. He'll do good tonight. Absolutely. Yeah. Him. I won't keep him. I think mm -hmm. that's a keeper. Yeah. That's a slab. Show sure is. Yes, sir. That's a good one. Yes, I... sir. That's a nice brim. Show sure is. I got... Good. You get one, too, aren't you? Yeah, I got one on them pins, too. Yeah, they fat. Boy, they fat and pretty. They just real pretty. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. About the same size that you caught. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Baby, I bring mine a little bigger than yours. No, I don't think so, Sam. You done put yours in the line well. You put, he puts them in there quick, don't he? Yeah, he kind of covers them up with his hand. Yeah, covers them up with his hand where nobody can't see them. Yeah. <laughs> Is that right? He gets sneaked. He sneaks them in there quick, does he? <laughs> Folks, when you... He must be your fishing buddy, Sam. Oh, yeah. Me and him fishing all the time together. Uh-huh. We've been fishing 
been fishing about 10 years together. Well, he knows you then. Yeah, he knows me. <laughs> He likes to eat them better than catch them, huh? I like to, I like to eat the fish. That's the reason you see you don't seem to go to a pond very much. I go to the river. Yep. River fish hard to beat now. They are hard to beat. When you come up on the side of the creek, I come up on red, it's just kind of hard to get some groceries. Well. And we have to work at it. You was you was talking about Wright's Creek a while ago. I waded them Wright's Creek and stood in them moccasins and stakes and caught them, uh, the cat now, the cat now. See, I'm getting a bite over there. Uh-huh, yeah. Right there on, t t Sam, you're going to look so good pulling that little old bitty fish in. Yeah. You're yeah. going you're gonna to look real good. Yeah, I Folks, that's big Sam Mitchell over there. That's the size brim, and he catches. His, his, his partner on the back told us that already. <laughs> I ain't even looking at that. <laughs> but I know I don't want to get knocked out of the booth. We're we going to watch and see if he throws it back or not. See what kind of... Yeah, we'll throw him back. Oh, me? Look at that, put him in the line. Oh, I ain't oh, believing man. that. I ain't believing you kept that little old fish out. He got something twice that small. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse got him one coming now. Oh, yeah. What is that, swift water brim? Just regular bluegill, ain't it? River brim. Yeah. River brim, yeah. He's pretty. Put him in and let him eat Sam. Look at him, Joe. Hang him down here. That was great. We each had a shake for breakfast another for lunch, and then a sensible dinner. You know, honey, going on the Ultra Slim Fast plan together really mm. is... Oh, why are we doing more Earth Day slogans? Yeah, we did this Earth Day stuff last year. I don't get it. I'll say you don't. Earth Day isn't a one-time event. The environment is important all the time to everyone, wherever they live. Y you mean we can all help? Sure, you can start by reducing waste. Oh, and cleaning up this mess. And by reusing. And recycling. Hmm. Let's make it Earth Day every day. Great idea. Thanks, kid. Don't thank me. Thank the National Wildlife Federation. Hmm. WTVY, Channel 4, Dothan. Morning Tri-States. It's time now for Red Holland with fishing news and other interesting features. Well, is everybody over the 4th of July? Hmm? A lot of people just taking off on vacation. They want to know what the weather's going to be like, don't they? <laughs> well, you got a few rainy days coming, but long about the end of the week, it's going to slack off a little bit. And going into next weekend, now, if you had just not took off this past weekend and took off next weekend, the next weekend is going to be beautiful. as far as the little eye can see right now. Today, though, let's talk about morning fog. Uh, good morning, Huey. We're glad to have you back off vacation. We noticed we got the latest satellite shot up there. Huey took off last week. We didn't tell everybody that he was gone out of town, but I know he's rested and relaxed back. Morning fog, otherwise mostly cloudy and scattered showers and thunderstorms. Highs 85 to 90. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain today as this moisture hangs around coming in off the Gulf of Mexico. It's a 50% chance of rain today. Mm, mm, mm. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a slight chance of thunder showers. Lows in the lower 70s, west winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Rain chance tonight, 20%. Of course, as it uh, cools off in the late evening, these thunder showers tend to dissipate. Tuesday. 
Sounds like a carbon copy of today. Tuesday, partly cloudy, a 50% chance of thunderstorms, highs in the lower 90s, west winds around 10 miles per hour. Take a look at that radar and spot some of the rain that's already out there early this morning. Down in the panhandle of Florida, down over in southwest Georgia, and of course some scattered light showers throughout Alabama. Mm, mm, mm. Moisture. <laughs> we have about as mildewed from the waist down. I'm telling you, I've been in it a little longer than everybody else. I'm mildewed from the armpits. Whoop, boy, is it rain. Y'all watch this. We'll be right back. We're going to tell you about some fishing that happened over the 4th of July. Hello, neighbor. This is Ray Deem, reminding you of the big car sale every Monday night, Thursday night, open to the public car dealers. Anyone can buy, anyone can sell. Monday night, Thursday night. Miss Farmer and dealer friends is coming to you. It's going to be a gigantic farmer group of sale. My dad's about to decide to trade this old two-mule cultivator in and get this little John Deere tractor so he can really go to farming. He's not but 90 years old. Don't forget, we're going to have a big sale this coming Tuesday. Come on, be with us. See if dad's going to buy this tractor. That's Ray Deem, seven miles, 84 west. Don't Make yourself a ham sandwich. Has your wife ever told you that? Make yourself a ham sandwich? Well, look at him. Let me tell you about it. When you go to make a ham sandwich, you come to the refrigerator and you get Ziegler's out. You get Ziegler's buffet ham. This is the black peppered ham, and this is just the regular buffet ham. Ziegler's. You ain't never had any any better, and it's seasoned to please. It's Ziegler's. Country Mart, down Highway 77, just north of Panama City, Florida. Woo, if you're going fishing <laughs> early in the morning, stop by there. Maybe you get hungry around lunchtime, you can go by and get one of them good hot dogs. If it's feed, if you live in the area, they got hog feed, cow feed, chicken feed, they got all kinds of feed. It's oil products, all you loggers, y'all buy your diesel fuel there already, but get that oil. Where's that? Unical, right down Country Mark. That's Highway 77 north of Pennymont. La da da da. Oh, uh, let's talk about a big old nine pound bass coming out of Sunset King Resort. Take a look at this big old fish right there. Mm -hmm. That's Tony Godwin right there. That's a nine pound bass. Oh, Tony's both your other name. Andalusia, Andalusia, Alabama. 6, 30, 91. Oh, oh boy. Nine pound large mouth bass. Also, I was looking at the paper here. They sent me, they sent me a little old thing called Cracker Crumbs. Look at this. Richard Francis. It's got a little caption up here in the, in the right up here in the top right there. Let's, that's a little uh, uh, caricature. <laughs> yeah, I think that's kind of cute. And that's the way I feel most of the time of going fishing right there. <laughs> but it's got all the news and views. You know that guy called the other day, and, and he was giving them trouble down there, said there wasn't no bass in that lake down there. But it, uh, here's the lake report by Richard Francis, and they had a, a bass tournament. It said Sunset King Resort had a great bass tournament this past Saturday. 32 boats showed up for the event. And everyone was in good spirits and ready for a good time. Blast off was at 5.30 a.m. with the call back time at 3 p.m. Now, that's early. This gave everyone plenty of time to work King Lake thoroughly. All right. Steve Anthony won the Lunker jackpot with a six-pound, three-ounce bass. All right, let's see. First place winners were uh, Steve Anthony and Cuts with a total weight of 19 and 3 quarters pounds. See, that sounds like, like Seminole weights, or you fall away, 19 and 3 quarters pounds. The third place team in the tournament was Short and, and Burgess with a combined total of 13 and a quarter pounds. Second place, Wait a minute, I got them out of place there. That was the third place. Now I'm going back up to second place. Second place team went to Byers and Anderson, who had 14 and a half pounds. So, you know. 
Well, looks like to me there ain't no trouble catching no largemouth bass down there, you know. I know it. Everybody goes fishing. Ten percent of the fishermen goes on the lake catches fish, folks. You take a hundred percent of the fishermen on the lake, and you carve out ten percent of them, that ten percent of them is going to catch fish. It's just like I was telling you the other day that, that uh, I saw a lady rigging up some poles. Bless her heart. She just needed some help, is all. Uh, she, the first thing she done, she said, well, these poles is too limber. So what does she do? She breaks off about three foot of them, four foot, just breaks it off to where they're good and stiff. Then she, boy, Jack, got baby right out, on, right out on the bank up there. I got some more pictures. I went down yesterday to Hartford Lake yesterday afternoon and went fishing. And uh, I saw most of these people down there. Let's see, first picture coming up is Ricky Thompson, uh, 7591. Now, I did not see that. That was caught, uh, what was it, day before Saturday, Friday? What was 75? Anyway, last week, five-pound bass coming out of Hartford Lake. All right, now, I did see this lady right here, and her husband has run off the lake twice out there, and that is not all the fish on that stringer. If you look real close, I give them a big old brim, one of them hand-sized brims out there. That's Polly Brown. She's from Slocum. She was fishing with her husband out there on Hartford Lake, and she beat his ears off. I'm talking about. She laid a whooping on him. I'm talking about. She caught that string of fish, and her husband was just too embarrassed to show them little old bitty ones that he had. I guess that's the reason he wasn't in the picture. <laughs> no, I talked to him out there on, on the water. All right, now here comes a fella, and he also had a partner. That's Rochelle Green right there from Enterprise. And you talking about a string of shell crankers. I didn't even see that little old bass y'all kept there. He just strung the good ones, I guess. But uh, Rochelle had a, had, a, uh, had a partner out there, and they had two nice strings of fish. And they from Enterprise, Hartford Lake. That was what happened down there. Yours truly caught four small uh, large bass on top water using top water plugs. I caught... One of them big old hand sided bluegills hit a top water and I gave it to uh to to uh, Polly, Mr. Ms. Brown there. So just kind of a little old fishing report in. Watch this, we'll be back. Ladies, are you tired of shelling them peas by hand? Look here, get you one of these Taylor pea shellers. They'll shell them peas just about as fast as you can feed them into it. We'll be glad to ship you one on UPS. They'll last you for years. They'll do you a good job. They're easy to clean. And remember, if you don't trade with J.D., it costs you both money. Ladies, don't keep them old sore fingers. Get you a pea sheller from J.D. Swire. Troy built power equipment. Everybody knows they make that famous garden tiller. But did you know they made the sickle bar, the mulching mower, the big eight horsepower mower? Ed, tell them about the Troy Belt tractor. The Troy Belt tractor is a big machine. Five-speed transmission, got all your industrial motors on and your large mowing decks for the big mowing machines. We service them and sell them. Folks, he's the number one Troy Belt dealer in the tri-state area. He's got the right price. Come see Ed. Folks, when you child gets that first fish or that first squirrel, save that thrill through the use of quality professional taxidermy at Collins Taxidermy. My name's David Collins. This is my wife, Karen. We own and operate Collins Taxidermy, halfway between Elba and Troy, Alabama, located on Highway 87. When you have a, a deer or a fish or a coyote or a bobcat, call Collins Taxidermy, 897-3710. A gentleman called in and asked uh, last uh, Wednesday morning, and I never did get him the answer, and it was something about Florida. And I, I, I got Jimmy Brooks' phone number, but we just never did get to his, his question, and I wrote it down, I thought I did, but I said, oh, I'll remember that. Maybe I didn't write it down. So I, I'm sorry I didn't get your question answered, but uh, I do have a conservation officer's phone number. In fact, I got two of them now. So uh, if you was to call back and ask that same question again, we'd see if we couldn't get it answered for you. Oh, I know what it was. We couldn't get out, too. So. 
Watch your program mornings and Saturday. Here's a clipping of the newspaper to let you know that other and others what's happening in Northwest Florida. In Northwest Florida. Let's see. Where is this coming from? Rack Chimp. This is coming out of the Daily News from somewhere. The Daily News. This has got to be Fort Walden Beach, Niceville, because that's what the addresses are on the advertisements. Area Fishing Report. Webster's Grocery, King Lake, Juniper Lake Campground, Marlowe's BT, Choctaw River, Douglas Landing on the Chipola River, Ingram's Marina, Jack Wingate's, Live Oak Landing, boy, they got all of it, Fresh and Saltwater, Breakaway Lodge, Apoclatch Cola, Black Creek Lodge, and of course all this stuff is outdated because this stuff is dated uh, June the 28th, June the 28th. So, you know, that stuff's really outdated because the water has really changed a whole lot. But I appreciate it. I read every bit of it myself because <laughs> some of them places I never had heard of and it kind of gave me an idea of what's going on. We got Jack Wingate's stuff in here. Let's see what Jack has to say here. All right, this. Good morning. I got you on the air. Yes, sir. I don't want to call and ask the question. Uh, uh, what it was was I was wanting to know if it was uh, uh, legal to set hooks or a trot line in Victory Lake. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Set hooks in Victory Lake. Uh, you know, I, I'm certain it is, but I'm going to call and get that, okay? I also call back the next day, but you done took off fishing or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, well, I told you, look at him. They shut this whole thing down. I wanted to work, but, you know, <laughs> Huey was yeah, on I vacation. Know you did, really. Yeah, I thank you now, I'll call. Let me see if I can get that fella down there on Victory, Victor Lake, because Victor Lake. All right, let's. <laughs> Jimmy Brooks, if you're up, answer your phone. We're dialing your number. Set hooks on Lake Victor. Anybody know about that? There's your tide tables down at Panama City, Destin, and Port St. Joe. There's your pool readings. George, Andrews, Woodruff. Good morning, Miss Brooks. I'm sorry to wake you up. Uh, this is Red Holland. Is Jimmy around? Thank you. She's going to shake him loose, and we're going to get him on the air here. Uh, Give him a couple seconds to rub his eyes. I never have had him on the on the air before. Boom, 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 boom. You know something now? A lady called in or a man the other day and wanted to know what's the normal readings. All right, and I called up yonder to the Corps engineers, and the lady said that she would send me that information. But I guess the the, the mail wagon broke down. I got to call up there again and get the normal. What's normal, and then we'll be able to put that on there for you. And you can see the differential. Good morning. He's rubbing his eyes. Y'all watch this while he rubs his eyes. We'll be right back. Corbin's four-point packing. We got the phone number on the screen right now. If you need custom work, hogs on Wednesday, cows Monday through Friday. You don't never need an appointment. Folks, if you don't own your own beef, look at him. This cut off a Malvin Corbin speed lot. I'm talking about choice beef cut and wrapped for your freezer just the way you want it. Highs, quarters, holes, he's got it. Everybody out there knows that I'm not a welder. But anybody in the welding business, if you need tanks, if you need service, if you need a piece of equipment, you need to come see Southeast Welding Products Incorporated right on the circle in Dothan, Alabama. I don't care what it is. They handle everything from a fire extinguisher to a pair of gloves. If it's welding, call them. They care about you and they got the right price. All right, I got uh, Jimmy Brooks, conservation officer down in in Holmes County on the air. Jimmy, about set hooks in Lake Victor. It's a violation of law to use set hooks in Lake Victor. All right, now the gentleman called. I said, I'm certain it's all right. And this shows you that old Red Island don't know everything in this old world. All right, tell them the reason uh, that it is, uh, Jimmy. 
Well, Lake Victor is a uh, state-owned uh, fish management area, and that's just one of the uh, rules that are imposed over there. Uh, you need to check your books real good whenever you take and go to these state-owned management areas because there's different uh, rules and regulations, that most of them, and uh, some of them you can put hooks in, but uh, like I say, Victor's one you can't. Okay. All right. Now, I tell you what, I appreciate it, and we'll be calling you from time to time if it's all right. Okay, anytime. Bye-bye. That's uh, Jimmy Brooks, conservation officer down in Holmes County, Florida, and it is against the law to set set hooks in Lake Victor down there. So, and he says, be sure and check your books on these management areas. Now, I know different management areas in Alabama's got different regulations and everything, so, so it would be wise, and they got these little books where you buy your license. So, uh, be, sure and, be sure and get that. Good morning, I got you on the air. Hello, Reed. Is, is that river reading you give 1.15 right? Pardon? Uh, Bluntstown River reading you give uh, 1.15. 1.15. No, something's wrong. There ain't no one. There ain't no such thing as a one. Let me look at the river reading up there again, yeah? And let's see. I didn't even look at it. Let's see what we. Let's see what we got. It's probably. I don't know. It shouldn't be 15. It shouldn't be that high. But. Uh, He's he's going back to the computer again. Blunt's down. Yeah, that's wrong. That's that is that is wrong. It's probably uh, he's my man's checking it now. Thank you very much. I did. I was just reading the names off. I didn't even look at the reading over there. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you for calling. Mm -hmm. One point fifteen at Bluntstown is not right. You won't have that. Would be that would you would have to roll up well you wouldn't even have to roll up your britches legs and you could weigh it across it and wouldn't even get your ankles wet at 1.15 i never seen it at 1.15 seen it down there low about four and three but never at one something that somebody would be pulled a plug <laughs> wouldn't they something like that uh -uh. while we get that information and get it correct y'all watch this we got some commercials to run we'll be right back Hey, this is a big Ray Dean Farm Equipment and Car Auction. That's right, every Monday night, we're having a big car sale right here at Ray Dean Car Auction. Every Monday night, some of the finest facilities, some of the biggest crowds. That's right, it's open to the public or dealers. Anyone can buy, anyone can sell. Ray Dean Car Auction, every Monday night, 6.30. Be sure and come on and be with us. You're welcome as a dealer or just an individual. That's seven and a half miles, 84 wheels, Ray Dean Car Doc Fagan said fix it where they'll know just exactly which door to go through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray a little air here and over here on the downspouts. Remember to look for the downspouts and the yellow arrows going through this door under these arches. He said, Red, make it clear where they, where they won't miss it. All right, there's another hour. 89 single vision, 109 bifocals, eye care associates, look for the arrows. Six, seven, four. I'm calling down to Bluntstown to see what that river reading is. It was on the, uh, y'all believe they give that on 10 o'clock news last night? <laughs> I'm going to write little Jerry Van a note on here and tell him that, uh, oh, come on, the line's busy down there now. Y'all, come on. Y'all get off the phone down there. Somebody calling down there to find out what the, what the river reading is. I'm all right, Jerry Van. He's always one of these big shots, you know, on the 6 o'clock news. I'm all right him a, a, a little note out here and say, you know, <laughs> here he says, get that monkey off his back up there. Now, this is what they passed down from the news the night before. See, there's George. There's Andrews. There's Woodruff. Look, Bluntstown, 1.15. Carville. They just hadn't got a reading on it. There's your tides down there, and then they go ahead and give the, uh... <laughs> Look down here at the bottom of this. Look down here at the bottom of this. <laughs> it says Tom's chance of getting the weather correct today, and they got a little blank space out there. <laughs> I wonder who fell that in. <laughs> Well, you gotta have a little fun. 
Oh, Tom Chance was getting the weather correct today. I wonder if they put that on the 6 o'clock news, huh? I wonder if there's a little place on the button for that. Send it back. They think they're going to hide that button so they got it down by the side and everything. You don't want to be real smooth with it. Boop. They mash that little button and it changes that stuff up there. They stand behind a green board over there. Think we could turn one of them lights around over there. Let me show that. Huh? Y'all just go on and never have no fun. Man, used to, we used to have a lot of fun on here in the early morning. We'd just show things like that. You was up there hollering, no! But anyway, uh, we're going to try to call down there and, and see if we can get that. <laughs> Tom's percentage of getting it. Tom's a pretty good weatherman now. I'll tell you all that right now. He's a pretty good weatherman. He'll do a good job. In fact, he'll do a good job anywhere you put him. Six. Trying to get the Bluntstown River reading, folks, and uh, that's what we're that's what we're calling for the Bluntstown River reading. All right, let me try one. Let me try another number. Y'all watch this while I try to get this thing. It's pretty important. Preston knows. Right out here at Webb's got butter beans. He's got over a hundred acres of them. Folks, they're shelling them for the public. Or either you can buy them in the hull. Peas, he's got them. Field corn, sweet corn, he's got that too. Call him at one of these numbers, 792-5641 or 794-2121. He's on Highway 52 just east of Webb, Alabama. Thinking about some carpet for that patio? Think about the carpet barn right here in Dothan, Alabama. Thinking about some new carpet for the living room? Maybe some vinyl for the bathroom or the kitchen. Think about the carpet barn right here in Dothan. Folks, the carpet barn on Plant Street, Dothan, Alabama, that's out East Main and just to the north on Plant Street. They got the selection, they got the right price and friendly service at the carpet barn. We, uh, we, uh, having trouble getting through down there this morning. It's ringing now. It's ringing. There's what I'm getting. It rings and it goes out of whack. Hello? We got a missile launch going on. Listen. Battery. One, two, point, six, hold. <laughs> I don't know what all them numbers is. I'm, I don't want to mess up Cape, Cape Canaveral this morning. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like a missile launch going on down there, and I'm probably dialing. I'm dialing the right number because I dialed it twice. <laughs> Anybody know the Bluntstown River stage reading? If you would, give us a call. Huey's going to put the phone number up there, and I'm going to read Seminole Ramblings from Mr. Jack Wingate. It's funny to me how some folks get is so flip-floppy. Used to an old man in Faceville that never went a fishing without loading the boat, always killed the mess of squirrels when he went. Always voted for the winner, never missed a weather prediction, and if a marriage went bad, he told you so. He said he always told you so. Sort of reminds me, uh, reminds you of the bunch in Washington that misread the American people and voted against the Desert Storm War. <laughs> yeah, they got to go back and they got to go back to their constituents and tell them why. And I tell you what, I certainly do appreciate, and I've heard lots of comments on it about the Dothan Eagle printing the roll call vote in the paper in the Dothan Eagle of how our representatives in this area vote. Our representatives and our, our representatives are the legislatures, how they vote in, the, in this area. Hey, look at him. That's going to keep them on their toes because then you've got a record of how them boys go up there and vote, you know. You know, everybody was all upset about these boys going up there in the legislature, and we're going to talk a little politics here this morning. We don't never do that. They up there, and they, and they vote themselves a 25% pay raise. 
They vote themselves a 25% pay raise. I want to ask you a question, and I want you to be honest with yourself. If Charles Woods is a walk in here and say, Red, I want you to vote for yourself a 25% pay raise or against it. <laughs> now, you know the station can't afford it, but how would you vote? I said, I want the pay raise, boss. <laughs> I want the pay raise. If there's anybody that's sitting out there that would not vote themselves the 25% pay raise, I, you know, I'd just like for them to raise a hand right now. You know? It's just human nature. It's human nature. We elected them, and they're just like we are. So, you know, they say, y'all want to raise? Yeah. You know? That's the way I look at that. <laughs> I'm probably looking at it wrong. What, are we out of time? We got to get us our program here, folks. That is rain down in the panhandle. Maybe we got a reading coming in here. Good morning, I got you on the air. Good. Yeah. What good is turtles in a pond? Are they any good or they harm to you? No, Look. no. Turtles is good. Turtles is good for a pond. They, a few of them is. You can have them overstocked with turtles and everything. Folks, you got a 50% chance of rain today, a 20% chance of rain tonight, and a 50% chance of rain tomorrow. You also need a little gator in there to keep them turtles down there. The balance. <laughs> they eat my feet up when I feed my fish, though. Yeah, the balance of nature. Yeah, I, yeah, that's a problem right there. They love that floating feed. Costs or equipment expenses. And remarkably, he hasn't paid a penny toward malpractice insurance. But that's not all he's got going for him. He's an Air Force flight surgeon. And to understand the stresses of high-speed flight, How you doing, he has to experience them firsthand. Hang in there, no problem. For him, all the money in the world can't match the kind of G's he pulls down. So if you want to practice medicine in a more stimulating atmosphere, no matter what your specialty, call 1-800-423-USAM. Aim high, Air Force. WTBY, Channel 4, Dothan. Morning Tri-States. It's time now for Red Holland with fishing news and other interesting features. yesterday morning I was just talking about this about the uh, lake levels and the river levels and here I got the letter uh, yesterday about it. This comes out from the Department of the Army out of Mobile from the Corps of Engineers up there it comes from their water management section down there it says I'm responding to your request on behalf of Mr. Buck Ernest of the Walter F. George Resource Manager's Office in Fort Gaines, Georgia regarding normal lake levels at Walter F. George Lake, George Andrews Lake, and Lake Seminole. And it, and it gets, uh, goes into some detail here. And uh, I'm going to give you time to get you a pencil and paper now so you can write these normal levels down because they vary winter and summer. So get you a pencil and paper. If you've got a place over here on, at Columbia, you need to write that down. If you've got a place up at... Uh, at uh, Lake Eufaula, Walter F. George, you need to write that number down. If you got a, uh, a number down here at, uh, if you got a place down at Seminole, you need to write that number down. So, all right. It has thundered and lightning. It has lightning. Every time you got to have lightning, you got to have thunder. You know that? You realize that? <laughs> well, it looked like the good Lord was taking him some flash bub pictures all in the panhandle of Florida all night long last night, and it's still going on over in southwest Georgia. In fact, let's look at the radar right now. Look at that. Boy, that is a big thunderstorm over there, and it's just slowly sliding to the east. 
It's been sitting down there all night long, just creeping along down in the Panhandle, Florida. Where was that when you when you came on duty? Did you come on duty at midnight last night? Where where where, where was it? It was back over uh, south of Andalusia and Crestview in that way, and it's just slowly moved the east all night. It's just kind of crap across there all night long. Boy, there was some fierce lightning down there last night. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I don't work out on the light lines. You know what I mean? Because when the power goes out, you get on up and call REA, uh, uh, Alabama Power, or, power or, or Georgia Power, or Florida Power, or Gulf Power, everywhere you live, and they, you say, my lights is out. That poor son of a gun, he's got to get up out in that lightning, wind, and rain and go out there and climb up a pole somewhere. Uh-uh, no, not me, uh-uh. I don't envy them boys the money they make at all. I sure don't. We're talking, uh, they're talking, a 20% chance of rain today. So there's not going to be as much rain in the area as there has been for the last few days. So they're only giving a 20% chance of rain today. Highs 90 to 95 degrees, northwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. See, we got a little, we got a little wind shift here. Hmm. Tuesday night, partly cloudy, lows near 70. Wednesday, partly cloudy with a slight chance of a thunder shower. Highs 90 to 95, rain chance again on Wednesday, 20%. So, they're giving a 20% chance of rain today, a 0% chance of rain tonight, and a 20% chance of rain tomorrow. And I wouldn't bet my whole crop on that. Y'all watch this. We'll be right back. Folks, that's Jerry Cook, transmission man. Maybe when you drive out of your driveway or you, you're going down the road and you hear that little bit of noise, you don't quite understand what it is, drive it by Jerry Cook. Dothan Transmission on East Main Street in Dothan, Alabama. That man will give you an estimate. It may not be your transmission. It may be a simple adjustment. Jerry Cook, Dothan Transmission, 7947979 on East Main in Dothan. Ladies, look at all this material. Look at all this lace. Look at all this silk. Look at all this upholster material. Miss Estelle has done it again. She has knocked out the walls. I'm talking she's moved from her old place and opened a brand new place right here in Southport, Florida. Highway 77 on the left going south just so you get to that bridge going into Lynn Haven. Come see her. You ain't going to beat her selection or price. Lewis Mobile Homes, all type repairs, remodeling, all mobile homes. Folks, listen to this. You can get it repaired or remodeled. Need to add a room or a roof over, all types of plumbing, awnings, mobile homes, curtains, carport. Woo, free estimate. He's licensed, insured, bonded in a 50-mile radius of doping. Who do you call? That's Lewis. Lewis. Man, you can depend on him. He's a nice fella, and he's honest. Normal operational range is from elevation 76 to 77.8 in periods of high Okay, I'm going to read this to you now because there's a lot of people out there that's interested in this. We've had, over the years, we've had lots of calls about this, and I'm going to give it to you if you got your pencil. The lake at Walder F. George operates, now we're talking about Lake Eufaula, operates with varying levels that change according to the season. The operating level in the summer is an elevation of 190. 190. That's feet above mean sea level now. That's what they go by on these lake levels. So you can write down for summer elevation at uh, Walter F. George, Lake Eufaula, of 190. All right. In the winter, it's 186 above mean sea level. So in the winter time, you can write down 186. Four foot difference, see, they draw her down in the winter time. However, it's important consideration in operating the, the, the WF George, Walter F. George uh, project during the winter is to moderate changes in outflow at the Jim Woodruff Dam. Two feet of storage between elevations 186 and 188 will be used to accomplish this. Hmm. 
Consequently, the winter pool level will often vary between 186 and 188. So uh, really, 186 is not the normal up there in the wintertime. Between 186 and 188, it's going to fluctuate at Walter F. George according to the use downstream at, at Seminole. After winter rains, the pool will range between 188 and 190 as we evaluate this water through the downstream powerhouse. Talking about, uh, 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 talking about uh, Jim Woodruff. George Andrews Lake is typically held near 102. That elevation at George Andrews over here in Columbia is 102 but has an operating range of elevation at 96 to 103. In other words, it'll fluctuate that much on a normal scale because of the as Andrews Dam is a run of the river project that contains little storage and therefore its level fluctuates according to the operation of Walder F. George Dam, which is upstream from it. In other words, when they turn it on up yonder, look out, here it comes down here. If they shut it off up there, look out, it's going to dry up down here. That's all, you know, that's, that's what it's there for. Woodruff Dam, Lake Seminole we're talking about, is also a run-of-the-river project, and therefore Lake Seminole has a varying lake level. The normal operational range is from elevation 76 to 77.8. Eight. Very little fluctuation in Seminole. That's the reason there's very little change all year round in Seminole. In periods of high flow, the level is typically held close to 77.5. And that's what I've told you for many years when it's level with the stump down there that I used to go by 77.5. At most other times, there will be regular fluctuations in the lake due to the fact that the outflow from the dam is maintained at a constant level, thus the lake rises and falls in response to the inflow from upstream they're talking about. Generally, the lake will reach its highest level on Saturday morning and will drop through the weekend and reach its lowest level for the week on Monday evening and they will rise steadily until Saturday. And this does answer the questions and thank you very much, Benton W. Odom, Jr., Chief Hydrology and Hydraulics Branch, Department of the Army, Mobile, Alabama. Thank you. Watch this. We'll be back. Preston Knowles. Right out here at Webb's got butter beans. He's got over 100 acres of them. Folks, they're shelling them for the public. Or you can buy them in the hull. Peas, he's got them. Field corn, Sweet corn, he's got that too. Call him at one of these numbers, 792-5641 or 794-2121. He's on Highway 52, just east of Webb, Alabama. <laughs> I spend a lot of time in the creek swamps trying to catch that old brim, that crappie, that large mouth bass. Well, look, folks, when it's a lure, that certain tackle I need, let me recommend Southern Outdoor Sports to you. They got the tackle, they got the lure, and they friendly, nice folks to do business with. You won't have to stand around in here and look for it. They'll help you. That's Southern Outdoor Sports on West Selma Street in Dothan. Evans Supply Company, 203 Northeast Street, off East Main Street, and Dothan's having a big Makita tool sale. 3 8 drill, 63.75 cordless driver drill kit, battery charger, and two case, 9 volt, 158.75, 7 volt, 148.75. Finishing sander with the bag, 53.75, big Makita tool sale. Also, Evans carries bluegrass tools. Evans, your building supply headquarters in Dothan and Abbeville. Andrews is typically at elevation of 96 to 103. Call him. Boy, they got some fluctuation over there, haven't they? 96 to 103. Makes no difference. Winter or summer, see, at Andrews. Winter or summer at Andrews. All right, and down at, uh, at Lake Seminole or Woodruff. Woodruff Reservoir. I'm writing this stuff down because I'll lose this letter here. And uh, I could write that down when we got off the air, couldn't I? 
That phone was ringing a while ago. We'll take your phone calls at 792-3195. I got some more mail here to do, but there's a fellow watching TV, Mr. Jerry Korb, RFD, Route 1, Box 118 in Jefferson, Vermont yesterday. He was sitting there watching Channel 4 up there, and Mr. Gene Reagan come on. Gene Strong, I'm telling you now. That's what you call a skip, one of these radio skips. He called down here and, and gave it to the chief engineer, and uh, uh, Billy, here's, here's that name and address back, and he's going to send him a, a verification of it because he explained and told them just exactly what Gene Reagan was doing at the time. So uh, Jefferson, Vermont. Boy, if I was to pick this program up early in the morning, we'd be. <laughs> Let me write this down here now. We got him on. Let me. You play them commercials. Let me write this thing down. I, I got an opportunity to get this. I'm finna get it right now. I ain't going no further. Hartford Lake, Hartford, Alabama, folks, now it's open to the public. 240 acres of brim, bass, and shell crackers, some of the prettiest fishing water you'll ever see. Look, they got boat rentals. You can fish from the bank. Summer special going on right now. $5 to fish off your boat. $3 if you want to bank fish. Bring the family, bring the kids. Bait, boats, they got it all. It's open to the public, Hartford Lake. You know, have you ever had an idea that you wanted a special kind of a sandwich meat? You know, and your little light just turns on up there somewhere and it's black peppered ham? And if it's from Ziegler's, ooh, it's good. Or maybe a spice luncheon loaf. Ooh, turn on those lights up there. It's ideas with liver cheese. And it's all from Ziegler's. If it's that special olive loaf, from Ziegler's, it's good. Folks, old Don Walker's moved up yonder in Troy, Alabama. Well, listen to me, he's got a new address, 814 Highway 231 South on the bypass. That's right out there on the four lane. Big old new store. He's still got them jeans, 995 and up. Woo, you talking about a big selection of Western wear, shirts, boots. He's got it all. Y'all go by and see him. He's got some real specials going on right now. He's moved, and he's got a phone now, too. Uh, gentleman just called from over at Seminole says, you know, he lives over there on Spring Creek, and he wants to know which, at which time does the fish bite best. Well, the fish bites best on a rise, and just as it starts to rise, when it's falling, they say, oh, my God, somebody pulled the plug. We're fixing to get out of here. They drain in the lake. Good morning. And don't put me on the air. I got you on the air. Put me on the air. Okay. What, what's, what's the problem? Well, why, why, wait a minute. Why don't we put him on and put you on the air with it? I don't know the names or nothing like that. How about it? Come on. Hold, hold on. I'm going to put you on, okay? Here we go. Go ahead. Florida Marine Patrolman. He's, he's helped somebody. Yeah, me and my kids up here in Geneva got lost last Thursday night, and he went out in the middle of the night and uh, did that search for him, and I just wanted to everybody know how proud we were of him down there. Well, bless your heart. Where did you get lost at? Uh, down in Black Creek. In Black Creek. Man, I tell you what, I got lost down there in the daytime. Yeah, and uh, he's a new officer, a new young fellow named Paul Davis down there, and he's uh, really making out with the public, and... Uh, I think the people really appreciate him. Paul Davis. Right. And, and he came out, all right, what did you get just lost in all them guts and cut, cuts and crews and, and creeks back in sloughs? Well, they lost them four kids. Pardon? They lost my four kids out there. They got lost, and uh, they went out and spent the night and found them. And he's just a young new officer, and I wanted to, <laughs> y'all to you know, tell him how much we appreciate it. All right, Paul Davis. Yeah. And he's with the Marine Patrol down there at uh, Freeport, Florida? He's stationed there at Black Creek. At Black Creek. 
Okay. All right. Man, I'm telling you, they always get rocks chunked at them, but don't ever get no flowers pinned on them, do they? That's right. We thank you. All right. Look at him. Was the kids out just fishing or riding or what? Evidently just out fishing. Yeah. What What time What time did they did they find them? You have any idea? About 10.30 night. About 10.30 night. But they, I bet they were scared, wasn't they? Yeah, they all worried about getting getting whipped when he got home. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. That's, what, that's the same way I felt about when I was out too late at night. All right. Thank you. All right, Paul Davis went out and found some young'uns down there. Of course, you know, that's, that's what Beth and I realized when we took our month trip on our boat down to the Keys. We realized that, uh, that, the, uh, that the Coast Guard does more than, than, than chase down dopers and, and, uh, and you know, and, and keep the rivers and, and everything open. And, and I tell you what, it was not a day. Not a day went by that they wasn't going out in that rough ocean after somebody. It, it just, you know, you just don't really, really realize it till you're there with them. I'll say good morning to a gentleman watching this program. Say good morning to Papa Low Down. Papa Low Down. He's, he's a black gentleman. He's from Troy. And uh, Beth and I was walking down the, the dock the other night and Papa low down and his wife was sitting there fishing and I got to talking to him and he got to looking at me and looking at me and uh, we turned around and walked after we changed some pleasantries with him and, and he, he just screamed, Red, is that you? And I was like, yeah, it is. And so <laughs> he said it. He jumped up and, and uh, he's fishing down at the Panama City Marina. And says he's the only man in Pike County and uh, with a license to be low down. <laughs> I saw him, him and his wife fishing off the pier down at Panama. So, Papa Lowdown, good morning to you and your bride up there. He watches the program. Only man with a license to be low down, he said. <laughs> That's all right. There ain't nothing wrong with that, is it? I received a letter here. It says, well, we just done some commercials. We're going to have to get more time on this program. I'm telling you, we're just going to have to see about getting us an hour. You think you can, Mike, could talk to the management, Huey? He says, ain't a chance. <laughs> fence posts. Listen to me now. We got fence posts of all size. We got them by the truckloads. We got fence posts that's killed, dried, treated, and guaranteed for 30 years for a dollar twenty-six cent. That's right, folks. A dollar twenty-six each on these fence posts. Folks, if you need red brand fence wire, bob wire, cattle panels, hog trawls, cattle feeders, steel fence posts, we got them at J.D. Swearingen. It'll pay you folks to drive and see J.D. and Mariana. Remember what J.D. said? Skip Thomas Motors, specializing in late model pickup trucks and vans. I'm talking about hand-picked, clean, late model used cars. Them it ain't all used up. They buy and sell customized vans and work vans. If you need a work van, you need to come see them. Also, Jason Skipper is working there this summer. He's a son of Jerry. So y'all come by and see them. For a clean, late model used car van or pickup, they got it. Folks, I'm Frank Harris, Dolomite Incorporated on Highway 71 South, three and a half miles south of the interstate. We'd like to serve you your dolomite needs, your rock, even your catfish. We're in the sod business also. To my right is David Thompson, plant manager. To left is Sonny Morris, our sales. Give us a call, please. They can serve you faster. They can serve you better. If it's dolomite lime, you call them at Dolomite in Mariana. <laughs> you go ahead and tell them. <laughs> That's the Ray Dean, and I was just telling Ray, we're going to have a big sale today. I've got an awful bad cold, but you farmers got nothing else to do. Come on out and be with us. Only one sale in July, and that's today. One sale in July, and that's it today. Starts today at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock on the field. All right, Ray. I hope your voice gets better. And I hope this cold will leave me. Yeah, all right. Let some of them boys get in there and tighten up. Why don't you take on and go fishing or something? I would, but you don't never ask me, so I just ain't got nobody to go with. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Everybody says the same thing. 
I got this lady's letter out here, and I want to read it, but let's catch this. Good morning. I got you on the air. Hello? Hello. I got you on the air. Uh, yeah. Uh, Red, I was wondering, on a man-made lake, uh, like, uh, Lake Eufaula, yeah. uh, <clears throat> before they made the, uh, lake, uh, the core engineers, is there any way you can, uh, get a, uh, a map of the landscape? A topo map you're talking about. Yeah, there is, but you got to ride them in Mobile. They got it, and it's real expensive. It is? Yes, sir. Okay, I appreciate that. Yeah, you want, you want to know where all them humps and holes and creeks and where they went up there and dug up a graveyard and moved out and them little holes is still in there, things of that nature? Yes. Yeah, okay, uh, Mobile. Okay, thank you, sir. Certainly, uh-huh. Good morning, got you on the air. Morning, Red. Um, I work for the Dothan Post Office. I work nights, and uh, I'm just sitting here before I go to bed watching you, and um, I live in Bethlehem. Yeah, okay, down there under the shadow of the antenna. Yeah, right there, and... Uh, I, was I, was that told, yes, I was through there yesterday. I was told you were born and raised in this area. Yeah, I was. Um, I was wondering, I fish Holmes Creek quite a bit down there around Miller's Landing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was wondering, do you ever get down there to fish any? No, I just... I, no, I hadn't been down there in a, in a pretty good while. I was in Lake Victor yesterday. You know where that's at? Yeah, I know where Lake Victor's at. I fish it quite a bit. Um, this time of year, I find Lake Victor be pretty grown up with scum on the surface. And yeah, it's got a lot of grass in it. Yeah, it does. Um, they, That's they, good they, um, fish. The state messes with it quite a bit. But um, I do I do like to fish Holmes Creek. I was wondering down there um, at six miles stretch just before you get to the river, there's some awful big bass in there. Yeah, there's some, there's some nice fish in there. And, uh, you know, it's, it's that that down there is virtually untouched. There's some good swift water brim in there, too. Yeah, there's brims. Chink, what we call a chinky pin brim. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. They're all in there, man. You catch them old jackfish, them old cypress bass. Yeah, I like them jackfish, too. Y'all watch this. They're breaking me for a commercial. Thank you for calling. Sunset King Resort. Six miles north of Defuniac Springs, Florida, just off of Highway 331. Look at this big old 15 half pound bass. Come right out of King Lake. Big old brim. If you want to bring the family, have a big time. They got a fishing pier, a boat ramp. They got rental units. They got a place for you to park your motor home. They got a clubhouse. They got a swimming pool. They got it all right here at Sunset King Resort, north of Defuniac. Jake Norton, down at General Hydraulics, right across from Channel 18 on Highway 52. He can repair those hydraulic cylinders off of backhoes, dump trucks, forklifts, farm equipment, anything hydraulic, hydraulic lines, General Hydraulics. Jake Norton, 794-5197. He's always there, so if you blow a gasket on anything, you call him. The Graceville Livestock Market in Graceville, Florida, right there on Highway 2. Folks, Monday is sale day. Sale day. Go down there and see old Gerald Mason. You need them cows haul? Call Gerald Mason. You got a consignment herd? Call Gerald Mason. The Graceville Livestock Market in Graceville, Florida. They sell hogs at noon and cows at 1 o'clock. That's in Graceville, Florida on the hog and the hominy. There you live. Live on Highway 9. All right, quickly, we're about out of time. All right, uh, I've got some red worms I'll give to you, or I'm a disabled veteran. If you want to give me a little something, you can call me at 886-3716. 3716. These are big refrigerators full of, full of red worms. Correct. Why are, you, why are you getting rid of them? I'm not able to feed and water them. I'm not able to take care of them, so uh, there ain't no need to let the worms lay in die. Let somebody use them. There you go. Folks, there it is, 886-3716. Thank you for calling. Yes, sir. That's free worms you're talking about. You might slip him a 10 spot there, a $20 bill on them worms. It sure wouldn't hurt nothing at all. All right, folks, you got a 20% chance of rain today. They say no rain in the forecast tonight and a 20% chance of rain tomorrow. Now that thunderstorm that you're looking at down there, that's actual rain, and it's been sliding all very slowly to the east all night long. It was over there around 
south of Andalusia, north of Crestview, about midnight, and it's just slowly moved to the east all night long. So, uh, some people in this area still hadn't had as much rain as others have. In fact, about a week ago, people was really hurting, hurting for rain just to the north of us up here. So, uh, folks, the water's too high to go fishing except in a pond somewhere, not unless you're going to set you out a catfish line. So, y'all be careful when you get on that boat, strap on that boat. Muddy conditions now, high water conditions. You'll hit a stump, be thrown out of that boat. I'm talking about that fast, just really, really fast. Good morning. Got you on the air. Red. Yeah. That guy was calling about to uh, Topo Maps. Yeah. Uh, one from Lake Eupaul or Lake uh, Seminole, either one at Southern Outdoor Sports or Mad Sportsman. Yeah, not the map that he's talking about. They hadn't got them. He's, he's talking about the actual grid map. Well, he just probably like I am. He wants to know whether uh, something highways are and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, John. I recognize your voice. Bye-bye. Uh, percent chance of a thunderstorm today. High is 90 to 95 as we, as we look at the satellite shot there. West winds around 10 miles per hour. It's hard to believe that we're under the influence of a high pressure cell, but that high pressure cell is setting over on the Texas-Louisiana border, out a little further into the Gulf of Mexico, and that's how they're going to get those westerly breezes. In fact, it's setting down in the Gulf of Mexico, the high pressure cell is. And so it's creating a lot of gulf moisture and it's kicking off these thunder showers in the afternoon and evening. Tonight, widely scattered evening thunderstorms. Otherwise, it's going to be fair. Lows in the lower 70s, light winds tonight. Chance of rain tonight is 20%. Friday, mostly sunny and hot with a 20% chance of an afternoon thunderstorm. Highs in the mid 90s, west winds around 10 miles per hour. In fact, this little bit of west wind that we're talking about, there's a high pressure cell right under the sun right there where it says 93. Well, that slid a little further to the south and because that was, that was uh, taken yesterday in the news, sometimes yesterday. And uh, uh, this thing's going to slide a little further to the south and it's going to bring us a little clearing weather. Not as much chance of a rain on Friday and Saturday, but look out Sunday. See the frontal system? All those low pressure cells to our west, they're going to be sliding toward the east. So. Your rain chance should pick up on Sunday, Monday, and probably over into about Tuesday. As the WTVY weather eye scans on a 125-mile swing at this time, there is no rain being picked up out there any place. I don't see a small shower anywhere. Maybe one way out in the Gulf of Mexico. Hey, look at that. I must have left Tom Neville a note, huh? They got it right. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, more clouds moving in on Sunday and Monday. Look at those temperatures. Boy, I heard them talking 98 degrees. It was over 100 yesterday in a lot of places. Humidity is high, so y'all be careful. The aged, the uh, breathing folks that's got breathing problems, the breathing impaired, be sure and stay inside under air conditioning. Ooh, this thing. I got to go out in this thing today. and you know, Don't forget about the eclipse. We'll talk about the eclipse. You know you don't look straight at the sun, kids. So we'll be back after this. Preston knows. Right out here at Webb's got butter beans. He's got over a hundred acres of them. Folks, they're shelling them for the public. Or either you can buy them in the hull. Peas, he's got them. Field corn, sweet corn, he's got that too. Call him at one of these numbers, 792-5641 or 794-2121. He's on Highway 52, just east of Webb, Alabama. Folks, take a look at this high driller I'm picking up. It's tough to get an outboard to go through this, but not the Go Devil. No matter how thick, the Go Devil goes right on over logs, stumps, no shear pins to worry about, no water pumps to clog because it's air cool. It's also electric start. Don't have to mix any oil with the gas. This motor adapts to almost any boat and goes anywhere no matter how thick the grass. Call Paul Dixon for a test ride. 
Jordan's taxidermy over in Slocum, Alabama. Old Doug Jordan. Mm -hmm. You got a deer you need mounted? Is it a duck? Maybe it's a child's first fish, a bird, anything. Doug Jordan, Jordan's taxidermy in Slocum, Alabama. You can call him at area code 205-886-3548. He does this full time. He'll be glad to sit down and talk Will you call him. All right, hold, hold on, I'm going to put you on the air. Uh, uh, they were shooting off the fireworks over there. When was this, Saturday? Uh, this was the 4th. All right, over the 4th of July, uh -huh. over Seminole State Park, and you had some friends from visiting from Atlanta. Uh-huh. And they had a Dalmatian dog. That's right, named Brooks. Right, named Brooks. And and when they started shooting this fireworks off over there, Seminole... Uh, Scared him to death, and he went running through the woods. And Brooks. they haven't been able to find him. They looked through Sunday and could not find him. Brooks has hit the swamps over close to Seminole, around Seminole State Park. So if you'll give them your phone number, they can call you if they see Brooks over there running around. A Dalmatian dog is the kind that sets up on the fire truck, you know, one of them white ones with the black spot. My number is 912-524-5221 in Donaldsonville. Okay, if you'll call in this morning, they'll get that on the morning show. Normally they do those things on the morning show. I'll do it. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. That number, I, I've got it here. If you, uh, if you didn't get it, if you found that, see that, see that Dalmatian dog over there. Beth wrote me a note. <laughs> Carpet barn ad. We've got to do something with that ad because it ran last night. Well, we all know this. Two of them. Two of them. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. We'll take, we'll get it, won't we? Okay, all right, don't let me forget to do this cow sale then. Uh, good morning. Hello? Ben. Yo! This is a anonymous phone call from Panama City, Florida. I'm watching you on TV, boy. Okay, anonymous telephone call. It might not be a... No, I hadn't got you on the air. When you said it's an anonymous telephone call, I just reached over and picked it up. I tell you what, why don't you call me right after I get off there at 6 o'clock, okay? Can you do that? Well, it, you know, uh, call me at 6 o'clock, all right? Yeah, right at 6 a.m., okay? As soon as I get off there. Thank you. Uh-huh. Okay. Folks, we behind so far on the mail, we'll never hardly catch up. But that's good. Y'all just keep on writing. We'll keep on showing them pictures and everything. Have I done the weather yet? I want to give you the agriculture weather forecast. Moist, unstable air mass will remain across the state today through Thursday. 36-hour rainfall around a quarter of an inch in scattered thunderstorms with isolated amounts near one inch possible. Very high drying potential today. Now, you're going to see some sunshine out there. And you're going to have the opportunity to walk outside and see the sun eclipse. The moon's going to move between the earth like this. It's going to move between the, the, the earth and the sun. And if you look at it now, you're going to go stone blind. That's right. It's going to burn the retina up in your eye, and you're going to go stone blind. Don't look at that thing. Last time we had eclipse, I, <laughs> I did Kind of like that. You know what I mean? Huh? But they say you don't even do it. They say you got to look at it on TV or, or, or someplace like that. So that's what we do. Roy Fox and Alan Rice got invited to a pond over yonder in Georgia. Now, Roy had never in his whole life been bass fishing before. And this is, you know, uh, Roy Fox is on WTVY FM radio. And I think Alan Rice is too. <laughs> Look at that. Now you talk about two two folks are grinning. I wonder why they kept all them fish like that. Y'all can't go back and catch them again now and have that fun again. All them grins that you got on your face? Uh-uh. Look at that at the bottom of them. Look at them laying down there on the platform. Y'all clean the man's pond out. Look at that. Goodness gracious, that's the fish. 
Oh, that's all right. Y'all, I bet they had a big old fish fry. Did they invite you to it? Huh? I ain't said a word to me about it either. But <laughs> Roy said, it's easy. He said, I need me one of them fishing programs. He said, I ain't never been by his fishing before. He said, look at that. He says, it's easy. He says, it is easy to catch me some, uh, catch me some large mouth bass. Development of the fox hunt people who will tell you that the lead dog will nip the fox in the back of the neck, thereby using a quick and painless death. That's not so. The pack usually disembowels the fox, causing a slow, painful death, excruciating death. Now, this is a, a letter from a lady up here in Alabama. It's talking about fox hunters and coon hunters and back when they was... Uh, Says it names some names in here, and it, and it goes talking about the coon up a tree and uh, how they shake the coon down and the men and, the, and six dogs. Uh, I don't know how long ago this was, but, but, you know, you need to be kind of brought up to date on this fox hunting and this coon hunting. These boys do it for sport. They, they do it to hear the dogs run and everything, and they don't kill these foxes. I don't know where you get this information, but I don't know of a dog out there anywhere that's going to run a fox down, you know? And a fox ain't going to climb no tree. Now, so you get you, you got your stories a little crossed up right there, like a lot of people do. I had a fella call me. Uh, well, he didn't call me. He called a station about that snake that I was feeding on last Saturday's program. You know, you do a lot of things that you wish sometimes you could just reach out there and get it and bring it back. But look here. So, you know, that's one of the things last Saturday's program. I wish I could have reached out there after that and got it back. You know, I wish I, God, I wish I could put that on there, you know, because it caused some negative comment from people out there. Of course, we get them anyway, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, it's happened. It's over with. If you missed it, all it was was me feeding a round-eyed snake. And this guy down in Florida claims it's a, a cotton mouth moccasin. And uh, I guess he wants to crucify me now or something, nail me on the cross or something. You know what I'm talking about? You know, it's over with, and I ain't having nothing else to do with it. I'll talk about it if you'd like to, but... And look here, we may feed another one on another program, too. Because we told them, you kids don't do this. This is wrong. We showed you what they'll do, and it's just part of nature. It's part of growing up. Have we got any commercials in this program? <laughs> Are you in the welding business? Do you need a piece of equipment? Well, you need to come to see welding products right here in Dauphin, Alabama. Call them on the phone. They're glad to call on you. They'll come to you. They'll sit down and figure with you. I don't care what kind of piece of equipment it is. If it's welding, Southeast Welding Products can service you. If it's gas bottles to fire extinguishers, they got it all right here at Southeast Welding Products in Dauphin. Hartford Lake, Hartford, Alabama, folks, now it's open to the public. 240 acres of brim, bass, and shell crackers, some of the prettiest fishing water you'll ever see. Look, they got boat rentals. You can fish from the bank. Summer special going on right now. $5 to fish off your boat, $3 if you want a bank fish. Bring the family, bring the kids. Bait, boats, they got it all. It's open to the public, Hartford Lake. Dolomite Incorporated, located Highway 71, south of the interstate, about three and a half miles. Folks, if it's Dolomite Lime, you need it your place, they're bigger, they're better, they're cheaper. They can serve you better than anybody in the whole southeastern part of the United States. Look here, they're in the grass sod business, too. So if it's sod, if it's Dolomite Lime, you call them right now. Get them on the phone, they'll come serve you. And at Dolomite of Mariana, they also carry them rocks for them driveways. And I need me some of them rocks from my driveway. Seems like it's just the rain is going to wash it, slam away. Slam off the hill over there. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> well, I'm going to shoot a fishing program today. I think I never have shot a program down in my pond, but I believe I'll 
I'll go. Folks, on these benefits, if y'all will send that to Miss Varnum on these benefits, they handle that stuff on the morning program, on the morning program, because you can't imagine how many benefits is going on for children and adults, just, you know, everything from babies all the way through the adults. Uh, good morning. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, I got you on the air. Okay. My little dog's barking. Little dog's barking. <laughs> Probably sees that Dalmatian somewhere. No, it's a little old... <laughs> Yeah. She's talking to you. Talking to you. Heart for sake. Well, I'm a senior citizen. Look, look here. I know what I know what your cats are barking at. I mean your dog. Don't no care. Well, I know your cat's barking at this dog. Uh, this cat, this dog barking this cat we got on TV right now. We finna put it up. Oh, my dog's really cutting up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh over Hartford Lake. If you're a senior citizen, do you have to have license to fish? No, ma'am, but you have to pay $3. I believe it's $3 for senior citizens over there. To uh, fish off the bank? Yes, ma'am. $5 on a boat? That's right. He's really stirred up with you. The, the dog is? <laughs> well, He's uh, cute. He's cute? Yeah, she's cute. Oh, okay. All right. Bye. Okay, I just wanted to know. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. <laughs> no, no. Senior citizens in, in the state of Alabama don't have to have a fishing license, state license. But you but you gotta have a lake permit, okay? Uh, okay. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. Now this is a, a cat that watches outdoors with red. I wonder what that cat thought when it saw that snake the other day. All right, there it is, watching outdoors with red. And here it is on TV. We watch your AM show plus Outdoors with Red on Saturday. And so does my cat, Mousy. <laughs> In case you have forgotten, I'm the one who has the parrot. <laughs> oh, who's picked up that life. Lady, I tell you what, you just got a house full of animals that got problems with me, haven't you? <laughs> Look at that. Don't you might enjoy the pictures of my cat, uh... <laughs> Mousy. There's Mousy. It says, bring that, and I'm pulling one in right there, I believe. It says, bring, oh, no, that's a fish right there. Look at the, the cat stood up when that fish come on board right there, I guess. Ha! <laughs> Look at that, would you? Oh, no, that's a turkey out in the field right there. That's one of those turkeys that's bring that on over. <laughs> My parent's name is Bubba. Well, anybody with two animals and one named Bubba got to be all right. Any parrot named Bubba got to be all right. And a cat named Mousy. <laughs> that is a big cat right there. You live in a nice house there. Nice TV. Got a fireplace there in it. There's, uh, there's an air conditioning vent over, in, over on the left. You know something? I don't like an air conditioning uh, return vent in the same room with my TV. It just makes too much noise. Going back into, the, of course, mine's not in the same room, but I have been in houses with them, with, and, you know, makes too much noise near the TV. And I like it quiet when I'm watching TV. There's a little, little hall table there with some pretty silk flowers in it. Some pretty carpet, too, in there. You can, you can, you can look at a picture and, you know, my wife says I'm observant, especially at the beach. He says, boy, you don't miss nothing, do you? <laughs> well, that's the reason I went out to eye care and got me some glasses so I could see. But when I'm wearing them old dark glasses, she can't see which way my eyes are turning. You know what I mean? So, dear Miss Red Island, I'm writing you to tell you uh, how much I enjoy watching your, your show every morning. It helps out a lot. When you put the time and the temperature on the screen. When I look here, that's Huey's job. I don't have anything to do with that. He is the controller of this, and that's what he does. When it's not up there, his, it's him, up to him. Because I told him, I gave him strict instructions the other day to put it up occasionally through the program. Also, the radar. We got to go to a break? Okay, we'll be back after this break. Hey! 
any time. Are you tired of using that old worn-out hay mower, making a mess out of your hay? Uh-uh. Go down and see J.D. Swearingen. He sells the Vicon dish mower, the one with the three blades. It cuts faster. It cuts cleaner. It lasts longer. He's also got the Vicon wheel rake. Folks, he's got the Vicon round baler, and they don't nobody, I'm talking nobody, beat J.D.'s price. So if it's Vicon and it's hay, you need to see him to... Jake Norton, down at General Hydraulics, right across from Channel 18 on Highway 52. He can repair those hydraulic cylinders off a of backhoes, dump trucks, forklifts, farm equipment, anything hydraulic, hydraulic lines, General Hydraulics. Jake Norton. 794-5197. He's always there, so if you blow a gasket on anything, you call him. Lose mobile homes. All type repairs, remodeling, all mobile homes. Folks, listen to this. You can get it repaired or remodeled. Need to add a room or a roof over? All types of plumbing, awnings, mobile homes, curtains, carport. Woo, free estimate. He's licensed, insured, bonded, in a 50-mile radius of doping. Who do you call? That's lose, lose. Man, you can depend on him. He's a nice fella, and he's honest. It's Ziggler's season to please weenies. Mm, you know how good they are. They are delicious. Listen to this. Ziggler's has come up with a new weenie, a new Frank. It's made from turkey. It's called gobblers. So if you're looking for weenies, let it be Ziggler's, the regular or the brand new gobbler. It's made from turkey. You'll like them both. I think it's Sconyers. Uh, I... The Sconyers down there in Ponce de Leon. Y'all get out your pencil and paper. I got the information for you right here. All you got to do is watch Good Morning Tri-States and Outdoors Red. You get a lot of information. Some of it not so good. Some of it pretty good. Here's you know, some pretty good information. It says, my husband and I want to ask you, to, uh, do you know where we could get a good deal on fence posts, about 100 of them, and four rolls of four-foot hog wire? Pretty reasonable. Some place... Well, they won't charge you an arm and a leg. <laughs> I know just the place for it, she said. My husband said he heard you advertise a place once. He didn't understand where you were talking about. It was Monday, July the 2nd, right before you went off the air. All right, could you help us on this? I sure can help you on this. You need to see Mr. J.D. Swanton because he's got them fence posts that's guaranteed for 30 years. He's got them on a special price going on right now. And that four-foot hog wire, he's got that too. He's got the red brand. He's got the regular kind. So all you need to do is, is just get up with Mr. J. That's the man right there. Hog wire, fence wire, post right there. That's him. J.D. Swagger Equipment Company in Mariana, Florida on the Greenwood Highway. Man of Florida on the Greenwood Highway. That's the man right there with the slick top shiny shoes. <laughs> man, Mr. J.D. wears that business suit. He's ready to do business. I don't care where you see him, too. Good morning. I got you on the air. Good morning. What's the river stages down there? Uh, Huey Lee, would you? Oh, it's been to get right again. We'll do that, and we'll come back to this. <laughs> I spend a lot of time in the creek swamps trying to catch that old brim, that crappie, that large mouth bass. Well, look, folks, when it's a lure, that certain tackle I need, let me recommend Southern Outdoor Sports to you. They got the tackle, they got the lure, and they friendly, nice folks to do business with. You won't have to stand around in here and look for it. They'll help you. That's Southern Outdoor Sports on West Selma Street in Dothan. Folks, that's Jerry Cook, transmission man. Maybe when you drive out of your driveway or you, you're going down the road and you hear that little bit of noise, you don't quite understand what it is, drive it by Jerry Cook. Dothan Transmission on East Main Street in Dothan, Alabama. That man will give you an estimate. It may not be your transmission. It may be a simple adjustment. 
Jerry Cook, Dothan Transmission, 794-7979 on East Main in Dothan. Skip Thomas Motors, specializing in late model pickup trucks and vans. I'm talking about hand-picked, clean, late model used cars. Them it ain't all used up. They buy and sell customized vans and work vans. If you need a work van, you need to come see them. Also, Jason Skipper is working there this summer. He's a son of Jerry. So y'all come by and see them. For a clean, late model used car van or pickup, they got it. I haven't taken that. Now, I am. You mean you just got you some driver's license? And I'm, I'm, I'm at the hump age of my years now. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> Not no car about a month uh, since March. Are you a good driver? Oh, I sure am. All right, then you got two daughters and you're fixing to take them to work to where? To LB to work. To LB. Okay, one of them, uh, what do they do? Well, my youngest one eats biscuits, and the other is a cleaning lady. She's sweet, and oh. uh, mops, and packs, and such, such a thing as that. Oh, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm glad to hear. Uh, nobody don't know who you are, what your name is, anything. But you, what's your age? And you just you just got you some driver's license. 50 years old, right? You're 50 years old, and you just, boy, I'll tell you what. You, you, you kicking up in your age, ain't you? Huh? You kicking up and getting out, ain't you? Yeah, uh, and you, do you know the principal over there at Elba High School? No, I don't believe I've ever. I've about met him, but I don't know him personally. He is my brother. Oh, okay. Well, all right, darling. I'll tell you what. Thank you very much. I'm glad to hear you. Another thing, you should put your uh, tele the television number. Uh, I know that know the uh, yeah, the number on the screen for right here. Huh? Well, we try to get Huey to do that, ma'am, but he's he's up morning. He's taking a coffee break or something right now, probably. Right up there. But I've been wanting to call you for the last couple of days, and I, I just sit here and figure figuring the number out as many times as I've listened to you. And I said, <laughs> I'm going to call him this morning. Well, bless your heart. Thank you. You tell him I'm very around there, but I said, hey, okay? All right, and we, we appreciate what you do. Okay, darling. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bless her heart. All right, folks, it's moist, unstable air, but what happened to today? I keep telling y'all we need an hour on this program. I keep telling y'all that. Looks like y'all get something done about it, Huey. Moist, unstable air mess will remain across the state today through Thursday. 36-hour rainfall, about a quarter of an inch with scattered thunderstorms and isolated amounts near one inch possible. Very high drying potential today and on Thursday with five to seven hours of sunshine today, seven to eight hours on Thursday. Y'all do not look directly at this sun. Watch it on TV, uh, hear about it on the radio. You can burn your eyes. You can go blind from looking at this eclipse today. It's going to be a pretty good one in our area, they say, so y'all be very, very careful. I don't care. You're looking through a when he's welding helmets and things like this, they say it's still not safe to look, look at it through sunglasses or welding helmets or anything. So, foggy, very foggy on the other side of Dothan throughout the past this morning. Good morning, Tri-State. <laughs> MP Surplus has everything you need for outdoor fun, including a large selection of boats. John boats are available in 10, 12, and 14-foot lengths. MP Surplus also has paddle boats, genos in 13 and 15-feet lengths, and Coleman canoes. And if you need a boat trailer, MP Surplus has them, too. For the best prices you'll find anywhere on boats, canoes, and boat trailers, shop MP Surplus in Pinkert or MP Surplus Jr. on Highway 77 in Chipley, Florida. Maddox Transmissions and Automotive Parts has been your complete automatic transmission parts store for over 33 years. They have everything you need from a complete engine to the smallest part, from a small light bulb to a complete transmission, brake parts, alternators, starters, whatever your needs may be, Maddox has the answer. And if they possibly don't have the parts you need, they'll find it. Drop by and let Dan Winston or any of the other fine folks take care of your problems. That's Maddox Transmissions, Headland Highway in Dothan. They're caring. Women are nuts. And Shelly. But you must know.